fall. It's been a while since I wrote. I'm sure at times everyone has moped. But this ain't me. I don't want to go back to where I was. All I could do is pray and hope, shake it off. But when I do, my mind says, nope. I mean, how do I deal with this? How do I even cope? I don't want to slide, but it is a slippery slope. I'm struggling. I'm grabbing. I slip because I missed the rope. My emotions are overflowing like a waterfall. The words I speak are positive. Well, at least I think they are. Overall, with stress occurring regularly, it's too fast. It's a hand side. Emotions are thrown like a curveball. But how can you even breathe when the air feels like ethanol? I mean, I want to fight back my mind. I want to brawl, but when I punch, I'm on the ground. I mean, I see the takedown. I begin to sprawl, but I miss. All I can do is crawl. Then I disappear. I'm gone. And it's just me staring at the ceiling wall. I mean, people can see my pain. You can see it in my eyeball. The sun would shine, but the darkness moves in. It becomes a rainfall all over the place like a human pinball so I delay and I begin to stall please God take my hand before I fall one it is JDF listen I don't know what I'm gonna talk about I just pushed record so I'm gonna speak from the heart I think today we're gonna talk about being yourself and being you and the hardest thing to do is to be transparent I think for me at least, I was always stuck in this world way back in the days, uh, growing up as a kid of not saying no or being the yes man. Um, but you know what transparency is all about is getting down to the bottom of the problem. If you have an issue with someone, honestly, the best thing to do is just go and talk to that person, confront that person, not confrontation. There's a difference. Just confront, be transparent and ask them, hey, you know, instead of all the gossiping and all of this and all of that, is there an issue that we're having or is there a problem? And then you can work it out. So uh, sometimes I think people aren't transparent. And I know we all have to wear a mask in life. I know that I get it because you can't say how your day, how's your day going? You're going to be like, my day's crap. How's your day? I get it. We all have a mask, but at least being transparent and being a man of your word. Those two things I think will make you the toughest, biggest, baddest man or woman on the planet is because number one, you can't buy trust. You can't buy your word. If you break it, it's broken. No one's going to believe in you. No one's going to trust you. So that has to be built from the beginning. If you say something, you got to do it. Just don't say it because it's getting you out of a situation. If you say it, then do it. That's your word, right? It's gold. It's priceless. You can't pay for that back. Also, it's not for sale, right? So being a man of your word and then also just being transparent. You know, sometimes you got to say no. Um, don't just be the yes man. I used to be out there and say, oh, I'll do this. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I can do this. Yes, I can do that. The only problem is I said yes and I'm not going to let people down. So that's where my issue was back then. So I learned just now to be you. Be you, but also be transparent. Be a man or a woman of your word. If you say something, then do it. Uh, and if you don't, then you need to own up. You need to step up and be responsible. There's no one better that I respect than someone stepping up and saying, you know what? I own that. That was my mistake. I apologize for that. What can I do to make it better? Sometimes we got to own up to our mistakes and there's a lot of people that don't do it. So that's what I think we're talking about is being a man of your word, being transparent and just uh, own up on your own BS. You know what I mean? All right. That's all that's on my heart. Have a good day. Yo, how is everybody doing? I see we got the number one cowgirl uh, or cowboy fan, Judith, in the house, who is trolling me via Instagram. Everyone trolling me these days. I don't know. It, am I just trollable? Like, is it, do people see me as like, hey, I'm going to troll him today. Like, wh what's going on? But anyway. We got a good stream today for you. Uh, this is about this more transparency, you know, more transparency. I think more people are lacking being transparent. There's this thing called lying by omission. You know what I'm saying? Like lying by omission. You know, maybe, you know what? Let's not say lie, right? That's a strong word. Maybe people misremember, right? They misremember things. They misquote things, you know. Things happen a certain way and, you know, 
stuff get jumbled when emotions get high and next thing you know they didn't forgot the 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 timeline of events you know guys i'm always teaching you hey you want to build the timeline 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 so we are we got to hit the ground rolling my daughter is upstairs sleeping so if she wake up streams over that's just the way i mean yes it's gonna be over if she wake up she ain't gonna let me do it she's gonna be like let's talk like a robot please dad and i'll be like no so um if she wake up streams over uh my sister uh you know she's pregnant she's due any moment actually she's getting induced this saturday so i'll have a house full of my niece my daughter uh, i think my mom gonna come over my grandma gonna come over i'm gonna be surrounded by women right and women oh you gotta handle women with uh, delicate hands delicate hands delicate hands right and shout out to dust productions <laughs> Yo, Dust Productions with the $10 donation out the gate. Every YouTuber has haters. That means you're just doing fine. You know what, Dust Productions? That's exactly what my sister says. She's like, oh, if someone is hating on you, you must be doing a good job. So maybe I am, but thank you, Dust Productions, starting out sponsoring the show. Shout out to Dust Productions. He need to get his YouTube channel back up and running. I was talking to him via email, and you know he was... Just playing games, but thank you, Dust Productions. I'm gonna put some respect on your name and get you the sponsor banner in just a second. So, women, I have a daughter. You gotta kind of handle them with like kid hands, you know, because they're delicate. You know, you don't want to break them. You know, I have a daughter, and this is what she enjoys playing with, right? Christmas came around. I got her all these expensive things and these twenty dollar magnets from Amazon. It's not a sponsor ad or anything. Is what she loves playing with the most out of anything. And she has been very good, very good. You know, she ate all her food today, but yesterday she was exceptionally good. Oh my goodness, right? Where am I going with this, right? She was good. She ate all her sushi, all her California rolls. I'm so happy. Yeah, she eats sushi, little California rolls. We play, we watch movies. Uh, then it came bath time. Bath time come around. Normally, bath time, she needs to potty. She, I'll put her in the bath. Then she said, I got to potty. I take her out. She potty. We go back to bath time. Cool, cool, cool. But today was di yesterday was different. She didn't want to potty. She did not want to potty. Right? And I'm playing, okay, well, we do the bath. Maybe she didn't have to. We play after the bath. And she runs back in the bathroom and hides in her, her, her home, which is her closet, which is like a little cover. It's like a three feet cover. I took everything out of there. It's her home. It's a flashlight. It's some dowels in there. All that good stuff, right? And what does she do when I open the door? She pees right in the cupboard. And she's like, Daddy, it's an accident. Now, I know that is not an accident because I told her, hey, you should have went to the bathroom, okay? And where am I getting with this, right? Someone said, some things about me of all people new use new youtube we're not new but you know my, my, my old channel getting lost in the divorce that they knew that i knew that what they said was not a hundred percent honest right like my daughter she peed and now she's saying it was an accident daddy and she looking at me like mm. and i'm like girl she's two and a half she about to be three so she can comprehend she a little bit more advanced i know everyone would think they kids smart but mine she really she really smart but so I'm like, we got to get back in the bath. And she like, I'm sorry, daddy. And look, I'm straight face. I'm just like this. I can't break character. She cute as a button. Look like me just with long hair. And I have to give her this bath. And she crying. She, I'm sorry. Now she's doing whatever I want, whatever I want. Normally she running around all crazy. We get the bath. We do the bath again. I put her pajamas on. I rock her out to sleep. And I tell her, hey, before you go to sleep, next time you need to Make sure you use that potty before we get out, you know, we leave the bathroom, okay? She's like, okay, daddy, all right, whatever, and she goes to sleep. So now someone's talking crap about me, and me, I keep receipts. Receipts, receipts, receipts. Look, I'm media trained, okay? When you become an investigator, the first thing my boss tells me is, hey, from here on out, you need to treat any interaction with the public as if I'm going to read it, as if they're going to read it out loud, as if the whole world is going to see it, right? So when you move like this, people really can't expose you because you're like, hey, <laughs> there's nothing I told anyone, anyone who's emailed me, anyone who sent me an a Instagram message, a TikTok message, a comment. Hey, look, if you want to screenshot it and post it for the world to see, have at it, okay? 
So that's what we're going to talk about today. And, you know, if you don't know me, Henry Resilient, investigator, did it for eight years. Why is my brand not on? No one, no one told me. My name should be, always be at the top. Anyway, investigator, eight years. After five, I start training people. No, I didn't have a gun and badge. No, I didn't arrest people, but I would interview people. I would take notes. I would collect statements. You know, interviewing people is an art, but you need people to be forthcoming. All that good stuff. <sighs> Excuse me, guys, I got a little bit uh, going on, but interview people, make calculations. My company was interested in saving money or collecting money. And sometimes people would want to save money or collect money from my company. And they just sent me out to interview them and get the facts and compile a report. And that's what we're going to do today. So, before we go forward, let's get some ground rules out the way. Let's be respectful of all parties as always. I know some people don't believe certain people's stories and all that good stuff. And hey, if you don't believe a story, drop that. If you don't believe me, say, hey, Henry, I don't believe you. April out there, you know, she will snipe you if you make an allegation. But if you be disrespectful and call a name, she's going to snipe you. Shout out to April. Speaking of April, she gets all this information ahead of time because if I don't give her the information ahead of time, she focused on me instead of focusing on y'all. All right. So we talked about my daughter. We talked about being respectful. All right. We did that. I got a list, guys. I am I'm organized today. So like I said, we talking about transparency. Uh-oh, is my computer about to reset? All right. Hopefully that's a false alarm. We talked about transparency. Yesterday, I did an interview with JDF's assistant, Francis. You know, she was gracious enough to speak on the record about JDF because so many people hit me up and they say, hey, I want to tell you something about JDF, but don't tell anybody. I'm like, oh, God, OK, tell me anyway. They tell me some stuff. And next thing you know, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I don't post it. I just sit on it. I just sit on it. Right. Pause. I just sit on it. That sounds weird. But. OK, so she gave me the interview. And in my professional opinion, I think it was fair. I think it was objective. I did ask her some hard hitting questions. It was some questions I left out or, or not left out. That's the wrong word. I didn't ask. Right. There was no speculation in my interview. There was no. Did you think it's more so what did you observe? Because we deal with facts. OK, what did you see? Not what you think, because I really, you know, shout out to Francis. No disrespect, but I don't care what she think. I care what she saw. She, you know, if you're going to be like, quote unquote, a witness, I need to know, what did you see? What did you observe? Okay. It's facts. Okay. And personally, she observed a lot of stuff and um, didn't really care about what she was thinking. I did not ask her if she thought JDF was cheating because the answer would have been speculation. Okay. But, you know, I did ask some hard hitting questions around those cheating allegations. Um, now, Simultaneously, uh, JDF's first daughter, she wants to be known as the first daughter, um, Sky was doing her interview simultaneously, right? Simultaneously. And I think they were filmed at the same time. And I guess mine released first, maybe, maybe not. I really, I really don't know. And what I liked about Sky's interview is she confirmed some of the things that Francis said, that Francis experienced, all right? So when you're doing these interviews, if you interview one person and they say, say ABC, and then you and someone else interviews another person, they say ABC. Now, my first interview has credibility. Also, the interview that FC uh, The Truth did has credibility because both people are kind of on the same page, okay? that That's kind of what you want in witnesses. So now, my interview <laughs> is, there's no jump cuts in it. You know, Francis no has said, hey, once we start rolling, we're rolling, okay? Because, you know, that, that's what it does, right? You, you, when you start your interview, you want to keep it going. There's no interruptions. There's no jump cuts because when you, when you guys in, introduce the jump cuts, now people are like, what the hell was said in the jump cut? Why did you jump cut? That's what I'm asking. But anyway, should I release the uncut version? Because we did the live stream and I kind of went over with you guys what I'm asking, why I'm asking it, you know, the, you know, the validity of the questions, okay? And Bougie Cat says, mine release first. All right, thank you, uh, Budgie Cat. You know, shout out to Budgie Cat. That's my uh, co-investigator. He's so thorough. Um, but as I was saying, do y'all want the uncut version without me, you know, yapping every two minutes, every one minute on why I'm saying it? I, I can release it. All I got to do is make it public. It's it's there. But um, let's keep going. I want to keep pushing forward. 
And that interview with Francis had a lot of people nervous. I mean, I get, oh, I got 20 messages, right? Live stream from uh, Jacob Frank. Yes, that's right. Jacob Frank sent me 20 messages during the live stream. And to be fair, I've been in contact with Jacob Frank for quite some time. And recently, this actually started probably my last stream, and I just ignored it, kind of like someone is uh, out there asking for money on, I think at the first time it was on Sky's behalf, and then they put my real cash app, right? My real cash app. Now, so far, since one, I really don't use cash app. Two, so far, I've received two cash apps since I started live streaming. One from Marvelous Meg. If you in here, Marvelous Meg, put put like put a bunch of money signs in the chat so I know who you are. Cause you know, I do want to I did try to put some respect on your name last stream. And one from a person who shall remain unknown, but I did refund their money. And um, because I I just felt weird taking it. Cause I'm not for sale. And you know, if if that person is watching and they still want to do what they said they want to do in the cash app, you could do it for free. You don't got to send no money for free, for free, for free, for free. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. Um, because like, if you take money for uh, an interview, you could be bought. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't a lot of money. It was just a little bit of money. But still, integrity means something. Why y'all in here? Uh, can y'all hit that like button? I see we got 16,000 people and 6,000 likes. So can we get the likes up? So. Let's get to what Francis had to say, okay? Because Francis has been getting uh, some backlash, to say the least, and we kind of know who it is, okay? We know who it is. Give me one second to share this. All right, so let me let, let me make it bigger for y'all. All right, so what does this say? And shout out to who is this YouTuber? Uh oh, it it did the skip. Um, I want to give her her credit because she reached out to me. But anyway, it says Francis Rodriguez will be going to court very soon and looking for an exceptional attorney, which will be costly. If you could chip in a few to aid her in her quest, her cash app is dollar sign Henry Resilient. Now look, <laughs> look guys, look. I know I'm going through a divorce. I know, I know I'm getting the breaks. I'm about to get cashed out. It's going to cost me over $100,000. My lawyer is already paid for. We'll touch on why I'm saying that later. And what does, what does Francis say, right? Guys, I don't need money. I'm not going through a court battle. Report these people ASAP. People will claim anything to scam others. Now, this is not trying to scam others. It's trying to shatter my credibility, okay? That's what it's trying to do. One. It, they're using my real cash app. If they would have used their cash app, then it kind of could link back to them. So uh, touche to them, but we're going to have to make this a little smaller so we can see the PSA from, all right, here we go, from Francis. And... Guys, I don't know what's going on, but I don't need money. I don't need money. Don't cash up anyone. Don't send money to anyone. That's not Henry. That's not me. I don't need money. Um, I'm not in a legal battle at, of any kind. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, so, yeah, don't send any money. And I know who it is, so you can stop because you tried to hack my cell phone today um, with the same thing, saying it was Henry, but um, you're not catching me. I'm not stupid. You need to chill because I am not the one. Thank you. All right, and shout out to Milagro Grams for capturing that. She actually left a positive comment on a post. Uh, so that's what we've been kind of going through. And now I think early on there was a co-conspirator in this, but you know, that's speculation. I ain't going to speculate, but if it was ever, uh, confirmed that it was a co-conspirator, the co-conspirator, which I have in mind, I will go a million times harder. I promise you that. But today I'm going to keep it light. I'm going to keep it light. I just want to clear my name. I just want to clear my name. And you know, this troll is likely in the chat. 
And they, they, they relish in this attention, right? Because this person is getting more attention than they probably ever will in their life. But we're going to give them more. We're going to make them famous. I promise you. And it's not Sky. So let's clear that up, right? All right. So let me get that out of here. And we are going to go to something else. So now, Jacob is allegedly, allegedly behind this, okay? And... I called him out on it, right? I called him out on it. And Jacob, man, he's been giving me a lot. He gave me, let's say, he gave me a lot of information, a lot of personal information, a lot of information about him, a lot of information about his sister, a lot of information or well, the limited information he does about Hunter. But he's been giving me a lot of information. And I would just caution you guys to anyone who is dealing with him because we are about to go over some some, some, uh, what do I call this? This is some interactions I had with him. Okay. Some interactions. So let me make sure I have the right one before I share it. Not that one. Sorry. You know, I, I really didn't get as much prep in as I wanted to plan with my daughter. All right. So here, let's share this tab. All right, we're going to share this tab. This is, you know, let's let's give Jacob some attention. He wants the attention. Let's give it to him. Now I got dark mode on, but we're going to make it bigger. So, oh, no, it's one of those where it don't zoom. Okay, so hopefully y'all can see it. Oh, y'all can't. All right. So basically what I did was I sent him a screenshot and said, hey, can you stop playing around with me? He responded, damn, homie, you got some good photo editing skills. I was so drunk last night. Okay, if that's what you want to say, but I could share a recording with you. Okay, so this is me letting, letting Jacob know, hey, I have more. Okay, so he says, look, I say, I respond with play stupid if you like. I will release everything, even the spells and curses. Please get help. Now, look, I'm not going to go too, more, too much in deep in that, but we're going to come back to Jacob when we go through this interview because when I was going through the interview, there was some stuff, uh, some stuff I noticed, okay, that was, that was there when I first watched but was not there when I watched it. Let me make sure I covered everything. So that's that. That's what we're going through uh, with Jacob. And uh, I know he just lost his father and I'm not trying to pile on to him, but I really don't like to be played with. You know, I'm just a family man. I'm just an investigator. Trying to spend time with my family, bring y'all some new information. But people just keep bringing me back. They just bring me back in here. I just be, tr look, JDF is winding down. It's winding down. I got four streams max left after this. Four max. And only one is guaranteed. The other three are toss-ups. So if we could like the stream before we get into the interview. But anyway, now here's another thing about Jacob. Uh, so I called him out on the fake posts and all the other weird stuff he sent me. And that's when I knew that the suspicions were true. You know, he mentioned blocking me. He mentioned, do you have my voice? He said it was Photoshop. Now these are all like, this is all serious stuff. And I recorded everything he said. So just, you know, putting that out there. Now he has some type of, uh, he mentioned Snowden to me. I'll just say that. And he said he wanted to do an interview, right? And this is what I did, right? You, you, once you learn the art of interviews, okay, once you learn the art of interviews, then you know how to play with kind of people's, you know, play on what their, uh, their weaknesses, not weaknesses per se, but what they like, right? So he said, I'll come on interview, but I'm not going to show my face. I'm going to show a fake mask and something. So you know what I said, you know, thinking quickly. Hey, uh, Snowden didn't do any mask when he went online. Then he said, okay, I'll do the interview, but just give me some time. Right. And you know, I'm, I just don't even want to keep going because the stuff he sent me, right. Is 
is out there. It's out there to say the least. And um, as as much as I open this platform to everyone, all parties involved, every party involved, moving forward, right? Jacob kid, no, 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 Jacob is a no go for me. So someone may give him a platform, but it will not be me. And I'm y'all gonna say I'm biased. It's okay. I don't care. Now, Sky. You, this is a message for Sky because I know she's watching right now or she's going to watch or whatever. You, she's going to act like she didn't watch, whatever. You better stay away from Hunter. I mean, not Hunter. You better stay away from Jacob. And we're going to touch on Hunter, right? We're going to touch on Hunter because, you know, what he shared about me, but what Jacob shared with me about you, Sky, lets me know he does not have your best interest at heart. And that's me coming to you with no horse in this game. And you may have, you know, besmirched my name a little bit, but it's all good. It's all good. It's, you know, it's water under the bridge today. You know, if you want to unblock me, hit me up. We can have a talk. I'll still, I'm still willing to help you do whatever you need to do. Let's put that out there. All right. Let me make sure I get, I've covered all my bases and that thumbnail, right? That thumbnail had a huge impact on this interview. Shockwaves. Now, I just listened to the interview probably a uh, half an hour ago, and someone said a hunter need to come forward and clear all this up. Blake, coach gang member, that ain't happening. And I'll show you why later in the stream. And I'll use Jacob's message to confirm, but we're gonna talk about it. So speaking of interviews, we're gonna exercise our fair use, right? Our fair use privileges. And what this fair use says, excerpts of copyrighted material may under certain circumstances be quoted verbatim for purposes such as criticisms, news reporting, teaching, and research without the need for permission from or payment to the copyright holder, right? Now, I did uh, what any respectable YouTuber would do. I reached out to FC The Truth. I let them know. Was that two days ago? Uh, maybe two days ago? Two days ago and said, hey, I'll be covering your interview if you want to come up. Let's, let's see if FC The Truth is in the chat. Let's do a quick check. FC The Truth. Nope, he's not in here. You can, okay, look, guys. You can figure out if people are ninja watching you by typing the at in the end. Look at this. Type in the at and type in their name and then if it pops up they're in the chat so shout out to all my ninja watchers um anyway can we like the stream okay so we're we exercised our fair use right okay we're going to touch on my interactions with sky okay um because i was rest even i was referenced several times my content was referenced several times throughout the interview and we're also going to discuss the obvious sibling rivalry that is that I'm observing that is just literally tearing this 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 Jenna Sky relationship apart. It may be deeper than sibling rivalry. I really don't. Now they, you know, they that's for them to work out. Also, are y'all, you know, are y'all seeing the sibling rivalry or is it just me? Am I tripping? If I'm tripping, say I'm tripping. Or say it's no sibling rivalry. But I'm definitely seeing the sibling rivalry. Um what else are we going to touch on? Uh, uh. No, not that. We are also going to touch on, here we go. This interview, like, there were some questions that were, that I thought were, like, a little out of line. And, and we're going to talk about that. Is Muskrat's in here? Is Robin in here? You know, uh, Muskrat, she's probably going to be a lawyer one day. And Robin should, too. Um, those are our future lawyers in the, the Truth Seeker Army or whatever. I got to figure out a name for y'all. I don't, I don't know a good one. Okay, and look, before we get into this, we are not trying to tear Sky down. That's not my goal. I'm not trying to bully Sky, but we're going to set the record straight. Make no mistake, we're going to set the record straight that I have tried to help Sky in the past and my offer still stands. Now, do she want it? Probably not. The entitled Sky Army is real, okay? But the fact remains, I should have brought this up, but my prep was just slow, that in 2019, her father established a trust. And in 2021, he updated that trust. And on that trust, the beneficiary is Jenna. And the trustee is Jenna. So despite him having the three kids, 
this is where it comes into uh, respecting his wishes, okay? What, what's, what's Alicia saying, right? You know, Alicia is always saying something. What she, I know there's been a look, oh gosh, Alicia, come on, girl. Why you, why you gotta do that? Anyway, Alicia, Jesus, man, Alicia be going in. Alicia, you're gonna have to come up at the end. But like I said, we're not gonna try to besmirch Sky. We're not tearing her down. We just reporting the facts that Jenna was listed as the beneficiary and trustee. And that was his choice. That was JDS choice. Um, now, if Sky says she was lied to regarding the will, I have no control over that. But, you know, we're about to go through it. Uh, before we get into it, I know I've been stroking y'all for a little bit, but I know a lot of information, a lot of information. I know I don't release it all for one reason or another, but I don't usually re release rumors. You know, I don't. If a person tells me not to say anything, I don't say anything. If they experienced it firsthand and they want to come up and say their name, then I'll release it. But if they say, hey, I experienced this and didn't release it, I ain't releasing it. But shout out to FC The Truth. I did put the description in his in this title. And now the first playthrough, I noticed a lot of jump cuts. The second and third and fourth playthrough, I noticed even more jump cuts. In fact, I noticed some things that were removed, that were cut. Like the part where she said she lived with Jacob, that was cut. Or maybe I missed it. We're going we to watch it together. We're going to see if we hear it. We're going to keep it quick because, like I said, daughter's upstairs. She's still sleeping, so we good. Um, cut out the part about living with Jacob. Skipped over the fact that she was homeless. Skipped over the 11-year-old post, right, that Hunter Frank made. You know, this one. This one right here, right? Let's make it bigger. We gonna, you know, we're not going to spend a long time on it. But, you know, it's funny when little sister talk ish about you, but don't even notice they're looking up to you and following you. Sky, you're not a nice person. I hope you get unalive someday for being a not a nice person. And I hope she does. OK, so remember, I said, why would someone wish their sister be unalive? OK, and that's a horrible thing to know. But I do know the real reason. And I was hoping she would explore it, but she didn't. So without further ado, let's up the quality, fair use to FC the truth. Let's make this bigger and let's get into it, y'all. What up, YouTube? Back with another video. This is a special one. I got a really special guest. When we go through this, I want y'all to look for two things. Facts, speculations, well, was three, and jump cuts, okay? Facts, speculations and jump cuts that's all facts speculations jump cuts and if you're a lawyer like you know you muskrat or if you robin look for leading questions and shout out to fc the truth we're not slighting him we we appreciate him producing this content so we can react to it and we can go over it this is sky frank everybody sky <laughs> frank she's the first daughter of jdf yeah that first daughter thing you know you that first daughter thing hey you gotta you gotta hammer that home the green ranger and she's here. I have the pleasure of talking to her and she's going to clear up some things. Wait, is my man in a cardigan? Y'all know he's in a cardigan? She's going to give you answer everything you've been wondering, all the Power Ranger fans and anybody that's just concerned about the whole JDF situation after his passing. So how you doing, Sky? Um, I've been it's been really rough for me, obviously, these past few months but definitely this past week has been draining mentally emotionally draining um like i said i'm I'm sure you're aware of everything that's been going on and the posts mostly right. coming from to start off with the post mostly coming from who look you know it's me that I'm, I'm the only person covering it right i'm the only person who i guess you could say care uh but uh let dust productions I am covering it a lot, but like I said, it's coming to an end, okay? Coming to an end, and sadly, but you noticed the first jump cut, right? That was the first jump cut, because I, I don't like jump cuts, but let's keep going. Let's talk about you and get into your background. So how old are you, and where are you born and raised? So I'm 24. Um, I'll be 25 this year. Um, mm -hmm. I was born and raised in California. Cali. 
Now, I like the fact that he established her age. She's 24, about to be 25. Girl. All right. Okay, so another thing, like, what was it like growing up being, like, the daughter of a legend like Jason David Frank? And, you know, just take us through that, like. All right, that's an excellent question. You want to feel comfortable, you ask this question she probably knew it was coming not saying that's like a slight but this, this anyone if you get this guy frank interview you're gonna ask what was it like so <clears throat> like if i'm being if i'm being 100 honest like my dad wasn't really around like that did y'all notice that that jump cut right there you know growing up i remember seeing him like a few times here and there like i flew to go see him on christmas with my brothers and i was like 12 um I always like I was always proud that he was my dad, you know, because it was cool saying that like, hey, my dad's a Power Ranger and stuff like that. But right. no lie, if Green Ranger was my dad, I would everyone in the world would know. It, it would be without a doubt. I don't care if he in my life or not. It, hey, I'm a Green Ranger son. <laughs> um, he was in my life when he was married with my mom, and then kind of like once he married Tammy, he just like disappeared, and so that's kind of like why I felt so, so many things towards Tammy because I was told by certain family members like hey she's the reason why he's not involved it just you know and you hear that that's parental alienation right there hey he he she is the reason why your dad is not there okay that is classic parental alienation and whoever told her that right whoever said hey JDF's not in your life because of of this person that's parental alienation. So now you're training the kid, right, at a, such a young age to associate the lack of your father being in your life with another person. I know we don't want to admit it, but that's what it is. And FC the truth, right? I think he he doesn't push further, right? I wanted him to say, well, who told you that? Did your mom tell you that? That's what I wanted him to say, but, you know, it it didn't happen. And, you know, who knows? FC the truth may not be interviewing people like I'd have done like thousands, well not thousands, but definitely hundreds of times. But that's parental alienation. That's the first sign. It, it never made sense to me why he just walked out on all of us. But then when she came in the picture, it kind of started making sense. You know, walked out. It was a divorce, and I hate when not not hate, but he didn't walk out per se. It was a divorce, and no one wants to acknowledge the fact that the full custody thing took place and basically his rights were just kind of terminated and he just became an ATM for child support and alimony. I mean, right. new family, daughter. Did you get a vibe from like- Did y'all see that other jump cut? It's like, yo, we, we, we what, two minutes in, I didn't call it four cuts. Like JDF that like he wanted to spend more time with you, but like something well, was like pulling him back. Okay, this is a leading question. Did you feel like JDF wanted to spend more time with you, but something was pulling him back? That's leading. If this was on the stand, it'd be like objection leading. Okay, anything that comes out of our mouth is speculation, but let's hear what she has to say. Yeah, 100%. Like he would always tell me and my brothers, like if he ever did anything for us or uh, spoke to us, don't tell Tammy. Now that's a fact because she heard it because he said, hey, dad told us this. That's her testimony that he told her that. That was his number one thing. Don't tell Tammy. Even with my brother, hey, I'm going to buy you a motorcycle. I'm going to do this, but don't tell Tammy. Why? You know, because obviously she never wanted him in our lives. Like, even as a kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, look, I, I know y'all about to be like, you team Tammy, but you got to be objective about this. She never wanted him in our lives. How do you know this? Are you a mind reader? This this happened in the... um. This happened in the Johnny Depp trial. As soon as Amber Heard would say something, it'd be like, objection, speculation. And and anything that she says about me or my brothers, like we were children at the time, you know what I mean? Now we're all adults. But when all of this was going on, we were kids. Like, right. so, so you how, like, like, when, like, give me a time period. Like when all this was going down, how old were you and like how old was your brothers? Excellent question by FC The Truth. We want the time period, right? We want to know when we want to build this timeline. So like, uh um, I know that like, I remember, I remember going to the, um, a house in Valencia when, with my dad and Tammy, this was when like Jenna was just born. Um, I was young. I, re I remember Tammy for some reason, ever since we were kids, like hated Jacob. Whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry about that. What up you two? Uh, did you see the jump cut? Sorry. We're going to get back to it. Uh, this, this thing. Tell Tammy why. 
you know, because obviously she never wanted him in our lives, like even as a kid. And and anything that she says about me or my brothers, like we were children at the time. You know what I mean? Now we're all adults. But when all of this was going on, we were kids. Like, right. so, so you how, like, like, when, like, give me a time period. Like when all this was going down, how old were you and like how old was your brothers? So like, uh, um, I know that like I remember. I remember going to the um a house in Valencia when with my dad and Tammy. This was when like Jenna was just born. Um okay. I was young. I re I remember Tammy first Did you see that? Did you see that? How old were you? We were young. We were young. She's talking mid sentence and cut. So now this is this <laughs> this is a red flag for me because I'm like, hey, what the hell was cut out? Is this take two of that the answer in the question? Is this take three? Did take one not you know come out where you want it? And let's get Muskrat. Let's let's get let, let's get Muskrat a wrench, you know, because she is a future lawyer. I'm hoping she a paralegal, y'all. We hoping that she become a lawyer. We need more. But that that right there, that jumps that jump skip had me shook. And can we like the stream, please? Can we like the stream? For some reason, ever since we were kids, like she hated Jacob, and I know that she did not like me. But like how? See, this is when you say like, okay, so she's she's emotional. She's talking about Tammy. She's talking about she hates Jacob. She didn't like her. You have to say something like, well, what made you think that? Because this is what this is her thoughts. Did she do anything to make you feel that way? I'm just saying that's what you want to do if you want to be objective. You just ask something questions just like that to just keep hammering it home. But she hated Jacob. Me, she disliked me. Like, mm. and I believe that it was because I was my dad's first daughter and she didn't want another little girl in the picture. You know, I think that she sibling rivalry. Look at that. She... Now look, we not we're not going in on Sky. We just making some observations that it's sibling rivalry and we'll keep it going. She just wanted everything to be about Jenna, like his oh. daughter and his priority. Like I think that she was always intimidated by the fact that he had another daughter and there was another woman, a little girl soon to be a woman in his life. You know what I mean? Right. So, kind of like didn't want you having any of his attention and like, yeah. Like yeah. I remember. All right. FC, a true violator right there. You supposed to be, you supposed to be neutral in this, right? Cause like, what if, uh, I'm not going to get into it, but you supposed to be neutral. There was this one time, um, I, when I went to go visit my dad in Texas, he took us to the outlet and he was like, you know, buying my brother's watches. And then he took me to juicy couture. I didn't know what juicy couture was. So he told me to go pick a like outfit. I was, this is the thing when we went down for Christmas, I was like 12. Um, he had me go pick out an outfit and I had got these like pink juicy couture pants. But at the time they were like, expensive like a couple hundred dollars for pants and i remember um i put it on the counter and he looked at me like go get the matching jacket and tammy like made this face where she was just like like looked at uh. him and he kind of <laughs> he kind of gave her a look like i'm gonna get my daughter this juicy <laughs> store outfit. so that was one thing and then all right now she's a body language expert all right you see like hey i read the body language and this is just like if this was in court and she's doing this sure like i'm not saying she's lying or anything but that's what that was her interpretation of the body language presented by tammy and that was the in her interpretation of the body language presented by her father and look this this stuff is not uncommon where you know step parents may not like the original kids i experienced it you think my stepmom like me hell no but you know I know, right? You're like, why? 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 Uh, expose me. I'll tell you why. And like, I just remember like her putting all these things on the counter, uh, like uh, cup perfumes and Jenna's picking out all this stuff. But my dad got me one outfit, you know, but it was always an issue. Like, right, with her. right. Like a big deal just because yeah, you got like, something. I things, like in the back of my head, you know. Now you see like, right, right. It was a big deal or something. That's kind of taking size. Me, I'm stone faced. Like, oh, okay. Just no emotion. Just. Keep it going. You no, know, like these are things that always stuck with me throughout all the years. Yeah, that's so it was kind of from the jump, like tension between you and Tammy, just because she felt like intimidated by you. Like and... that's what I, I mean, that's what I believe, you know. And I this is this is my thing. I understand that there is a lot of fans that want that want answers and that have questions and that are putting their own narrative about things and making their own assumptions. All right. This is where she gets real guy. Cause I got, I got notes on this for every couple minutes. I got notes. I got notes. I got notes. So I'm kind of like looking at my notes. 
trying to monitor the chat and get through this. But I just want to say this, that at the end of the night, they could talk online, either good about me or bad about me or make their own narrative, like I said, but they go to sleep good every night. This me, I don't. This is something that I, I wake up and go to sleep to thinking about that it's affected my life. I lost my father. That's enough. You know, like I'm affected by that every day. So, and I don't, you know, it's like, and then to take it this far as into like people thinking like, oh, I don't know what people think, you know, like she, she's drama. She's this and that. Like I, I, people have. All right. I'll just tell you what I think. Okay. I, I, I won't mince words. I'll just, you know, tell you what I think. I think she's hurting. I think she's lashing out. I think she is um, feeling left out. She's probably feeling alone and that's, you know, her prerogative. But at the same time, when you feel in these ways, how you conduct yourself, right? How you conduct yourself is act is naturally going to determine how people are going to perceive you. And right now, she's getting a lot of sympathy, right? You're getting a lot of sympathy. You're the original child of JDF, the original daughter, the original family. And he moved on. He started another family. And now the, you know, the second family gets all of his hard work, right? We're going to call back to that because it's going to come up. How's like a completely different view of me because I mean, this is not what I wanted. You know, like I never wanted it to be like a social media war. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't didn't we hear yesterday that um that uh she wanted war? She said it was war. <sighs> Look, man, my memory is not the greatest, but and that's right, Stefan, Stefan Leon. I'm not a body language expert either. So <laughs> good comment, Stefan. Let me, let me, let me, let's check these comments, make sure everything good. Right. How you conduct yourself is how people perceive you. Thank you, Brent. And that's, you know, Brent always be, he always give me smoke, but he always respectful. And she just said she wanted a war. Now she's saying she never wanted the war. And Gosh, we gonna get to it because I got the receipts, guys. Or, or this right. is not the type of attention. This is not the type of attention that I wanted. This is not how I wanted to. This is not what I wanted, especially for my dad. You know what I mean? So, and that and that's why I wanted to talk to you because like your story is so interesting because you stayed out of the limelight. You know, you could have like like you could have just ran with the Green Ranger thing. To be fair, I'm I'm pretty sure in every interview that comes up, she acknowledges the fact that she is the Green Ranger's daughter. Like, hey, everybody, I'm I'm the Green Ranger's daughter, and you like so many people commented and was like, oh, I didn't even know you had another daughter. I didn't even know you had sons, and it's like, and I know, want you to know, like, yo, that is true. And look, I ain't the super biggest JDF fan, but I kid you not, when I was looking this up, I'm like, wait, what? He had other kids. Surprise to me. Surprise to me. That's this is this is real. This is a real moment for me. I had no idea. How bad that hurts seeing those comments and how bad that makes me and my brothers feel. Like it's it's a feeling that I can't even like put into words. You know what I mean? Like feeling like ugh, I don't know. Like I can't even put it into words. I'm trying, but you're the first family of JDF. You know, this is just like for the whole Did y'all notice that jump cut. Look, y'all, you got to be on these jump cuts, y'all. Stay on the jump cuts. Well, com Power Rangers community to kind of like be just shocked. Like, what? You know, I I can only like, imagine. I almost, I almost felt like, in a way, like me and my brother's feelings didn't matter. Like, everybody was just, oh, Tammy Jenna, Tammy Jenna, Tammy Jenna. But it was like, what about Jacob, Hunter, and Sky? What about us? Like, we yeah. lost our dad, too. And... With all this stuff going online and people making all these YouTube videos and making up conclusions. That's me. People is me. People is me making up these videos. It's all it's all good. You know, you don't gotta say my name, but I, I appreciate the acknowledgement. And thinking that they know everything. Yes, we had our family differences. Yes, of course we did. You know who else said they had their ups and downs? Y'all know who else said that? Like but every time me and my dad would see each other again or we would talk and he would come to California and see me, it was tears. We would cry. Like, we would just break down crying. And it's even hard for me to still believe that he's not here anymore because, like, 
I really don't care about all this social media being for proving myself. Like my dad's gone and that's something that I'm never going to have. You know what I mean? Like I'm never going to have that chance to like talk to him again. And people thinking like they know things. That's what hurts me the most. You know what I mean? Like how could you say online that a father doesn't love her daughter or Tammy saying, Oh, she wasn't. Oh yeah. But Jason didn't leave them anything because he wasn't close to them. My dad loved us. All right, so that's, you know, Tammy did say that, to be fair. And that's Tammy's observation. And her, see, this, this is the problem you run into with the word close. Everyone's definition of close ain't the same, right? So when you say, hey, we not, like me and my best friend, you can say, we ain't close. Me and him, thick as thieves, okay? Thick as thieves. Do I talk to him every day? No, do I talk to him about once a week, maybe three, four times a week? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I talk to them. We talk sports. We talk a lot of other stuff. But I would say me and him are close. But some people will look at that will like and say, well, you don't talk every day. You're not close. And when it comes to uh, validating a relationship with someone, some things you look at, hey, how often do you interact? How often have you seen each other? Like in the flesh. Okay. I'm going to my best friend's house for Super Bowl party. So, and guess what? The cowgirls won't be in it. That's very much. My dad loved me very much. I, we might have not have been seeing each other every day or talking every day because we had our differences. I was angry at him. I was mad with my dad. So, this is where I would just interject like, um, were you on good terms with your dad when he transitioned? Right. Because sometimes, you know, you never know what terms you're on when someone transitioned, okay? And I, I share with someone a personal story. Um, my uncle, no lie, transitioned yesterday. I wasn't on good terms with him. Not on good terms with him. Not on good terms with his wife. And that's just something I'm going to have to live with. And may he rest in peace, but that is what it is. You know, like I had every right to be, and that's personal things that I've been through in my childhood that he knew about that I I just, not that I held a grudge, but I was angry. I was hurt. I just like, in my head, I was like, do you love me? Like, what did I do? Like, is it my fault? But then it's like, how can it be a kid's fault that your father walks out and marries another one? Like, these are things. Gosh. Now look, when my dad is not there, maybe as a kid, I say it was maybe I thought it was my fault. But as an adult, I know it was not my fault, okay? And that's that's the thing. Like, some people don't want to, like, face the music, right? You don't want to, um, maybe, some people don't want to face the fact that maybe JDF was drinking, even though, you know, he said he didn't drink. Some people don't want to face the fact that maybe their mother is the number one reason that your father was not in your life, you know? And that took me some time to get used to, but hey, me, look, I, I don't blame my mom, and I don't really fault my dad per se, but that that was a a crossroad I had to succumb to or or eventually face, and there's not enough talk about that. Is that I think every child goes through when your parents have a divorce and they move on and have a new family. You know, you start thinking like, is it my fault? Well, we know it's not your fault because people in your family said it's Tammy's fault. You know, it's maybe it's Jermaine's fault, but that's what I'm saying. Like, which one is it? The, the, the people in your family said it's Tammy's fault. It's your dad's fault. Now you're saying it's your fault, but you're an adult. You can see things clearly, right? You can see the whole picture. You know, is it like, what did I do? Right. You know what, I- what was the first thing that kind of like, did you see the jump cut? Like, Oh, gosh. FC the truth. Will we ever get the uncut video? Probably not. But yes, Muskrats, it is Jermaine's fault. I messed up y'all relationship. Who? Between me and Tammy and my dad. You you and Tammy. Me and Tammy never had a relationship. So at this point, right, y'all never had a relationship. Um, I want to flesh that out. What do you mean by never had a relationship? Like she never did anything nice for you. Um, did, did she do anything mean to you? This is where I just go deep. When people say stuff like this, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hit, I gotta hit a little hard, but not too hard because you still want to get to the meat and potatoes. Ever. Nah, like I only remember seeing her 
like when I was in the house in Valencia and she was, she was. Did you notice the jump cut? I only remember seeing her when jump cut in the house in Valencia, whatever. Never nice to me. Like she was never nice to me. Like I said, she always had, I don't know what it was with me. I, like, again, I was a kid, but. Um, and then what about All right. So right then and there, right. You go to how many interactions did you have with Tammy? Like, what was the frequency? Did you see her once a month, every two months, every three months, once a year, twice a year? You want to establish. Okay. So now, and this, this is how like FC, the truth could bring the fact, you know, sky, um, saying that Tammy was never nice to her. You say, well, if she says, well, I saw her 10 times out the year and eight of them, it was an unpleasant experience. And she gives you just one example of, you know, maybe she flipped my ice cream over and she saw me crying and didn't buy me some new ones. I'm just saying it could be her signal and not jump cuts. Okay. Okay. Uh, who is this? I don't know, you uh, NF sh shooting some bail for all the jump cuts, but no, there are jump cuts, not signal cuts, but I can see your point. It could be signal cuts. About what about your brothers, uh, Jacob and Hunter? How did she like interact with them? What was that like? Hey, the thing was, is that this is one that's something I want to clarify too, that she, Hunter was apparently like her favorite. She loved Hunter when he was a kid. She didn't. <laughs> you know I know about Hunter, right? You know I know why everyone loved Hunter and why Hunter is hard to find. I know it. Not like me and Jacob. Like, now, now, look, another freaking <laughs> jump cut counter <laughs> dust dust productions. Right? <laughs> Yo, you should have put a jump cut counter on the screen so we could see how many there were. Lo. that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Hey, Dust Productions, man. Thank you for the donation, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> now, now that we're talking about Hunter, I want to get to the whole funeral thing because you know, okay. I had posted, I had posted and said, like, okay, you know what? You did not invite my brothers to the funeral. Um, she had went back and said, you know what, Jacob threatened my life. He did this and that in the past. Whatever. Boom. Did y'all hear that? Do I need to rewind it? Do I need to rewind it? All right, let's go. Now, now that we're talking about Hunter, I want to get to the whole funeral thing because okay. I had posted, I had posted and said like, okay, you know what? You did not invite my brothers to the funeral. Um, she had went back and said, you know what? Jacob threatened my life. He did this and that in the past, whatever. That's why I didn't want him to come, which is in, in, my, in my, okay, look. All right, so this is where you go into lying by omission, okay? So remember when she came out and said, hey, this was probably two weeks ago because I got the I got the screenshots to prove it that, hey, she didn't she didn't invite my brothers to um, the funeral. She never said, well, I know why she didn't invite my brothers to the funeral. It was just a blanket. Hey, she never invited my brothers to the funeral. And when I was interacting with her, I was like, oh, man, that's messed up. And I'm like, even when I went in, look, there's a video on my channel where I go all the way in. OK. I go so far in, it is woo-wee. It is, look, I'll show you. I'll show you the video I go in. This video right here, this exposed video, I'm going all the way in. I lost my voice on here. I had to stop streaming for a couple of days, okay? I had to stop streaming because I went too far in. I got besides myself, all right? And there are some other videos where I was just like, look, if you want to talk about me being objection, you know, objective, this video right here, <laughs> do you believe her? <sighs> Bro, <Bruh. laughs> I went in. Uh, I also did the uh, who will get his money, just some legalese stuff. This is before I knew about the trust. I did the fake news post and I, I was I was a little bit more mild right there. I was a little bit more mild, but I right here is full blown. I don't believe nothing Tammy say. Nothing. But you know, as you dig deeper, new information becomes available. You may adjust your uh, viewpoint. And please like the stream. Like the stream, guys. It's sponsored by the like button. It's free. I mean, Dust Productions, I appreciate you uh, donating to the content, but it is free. Um, can I do a video about JDF's first divorce and how it happened? I really don't, guys. I, as much as I love JDF, we got we got we got other stories to cover. We got other stories to cover. So let's get back to the interview. Let me check my notes. Another jump cut. Where what time? What's our timestamp? Okay. All right. 
all I have to say is that no matter what happened in the past, that doesn't give you the right to take away a son's right to go say his last goodbyes to his father. Now, that is a fair statement in some regard. And but, you know, you have to see it from all sides. Right. Um, my sources tell me this threat happened in 2014, 2015. Right. And remember, Jacob threatened the life of not just Tammy, but Francis and Jenna. Right. So 20 was it 2015, 2014. That is what nine years ago, eight years, well, nine years ago is 2014. Um, how old was Jenna when her older brother threatened her life? He was an adult. She was a minor. Okay. Think about that. Just saying, just saying, um, shout out to dust productions. Yo, can we, can everyone put dust productions in the chat, man? Put, put the D's in the chat because he is blessing me. I'm just supporting a fellow YouTuber and I'm doing okay financially. Can we put some D's in the chat for dust productions for supporting the content? I really appreciate that. Let me, let me put some further respect on your name. Um, because he didn't have to do that. He did not have to support the show. He did not. Everyone else, I appreciate you guys. Y'all want to support the show? Just hit the like button. Just hit the like button, okay? Um, but that's the thing. So an adult, your older brother, threatens. There we go. That's right. Everybody put the D's in the chat for Dust Production. Show him some love. Maybe he'll if, if he drop his channel, then maybe some people uh, throw some D's on it. Yeah, boy. Um, an adult threatens a minor uh eight years ago right and you don't know the mindset of this person you don't know their intentions do they did they change maybe maybe not but i get i get sky's argument too hey this is her father this is this is his father maybe he should have been invited just to say the final goodbyes but at the same time you know you have to be careful who you cross just this is fair this is life advice guys now we now we going into life advice I try to be courteous and, you know, respectful to all parties, even if I don't agree, right? Even if I don't agree, even if, you know, I'm helping Sky and she's telling me some stuff about Tammy, um, make him a mod. You, you absolutely right. Dust, you need to be a mod. Um, even if I don't agree necessarily with, um, with, uh, Tammy's story initially, um, and there's still some questions, guys. There are still some questions about Tammy's story. And I see we got 207 people in here. Can we just get the likes up? Can I get 10 more likes? You know, it's free. It's free. And Dust Productions is now a mod. Um, as I was saying, Sky saying, hey, my, my father passed. His son is not able to be there because of what he said some years back. Maybe you can make some accommodations or maybe not. It's really up to the person organizing the the funeral, which we are rum or rumored to be Tammy. So be careful who you cross, guys. You never know. Because that's okay, the not, best story of life, you not, know? Not, not, not to stop you. I just want you to also, it was a lot of comments that were saying, well, why didn't Hunter and Jacob, why didn't they just pop up at the funeral? Like, it's their dad. If it was me, I would have just popped up because I got every right to go to my dad's funeral. But yeah. I want you to explain for the fans well, and people out there why they uh, they weren't invited. So the simple answer to that is Tammy ran the funeral. She had a guest list. So um, I believe I sent you a screenshot of Tammy's friend telling me, hey, Sky, what's your name? So I could put you on the guest list. And then my cousin as well that had flew down. Everybody that was attending my dad's funeral was on a guest list. All right. And this is like, you know, this is a celebrity, right? My uncle, like I said, he transitioned a couple of days ago. There will be, there, there's not going to be a guest list for him. Not saying that he don't deserve one, but there ain't going to be a guest list for him. Okay. And that's just the nature of the beast. Shout out to Michael Fury, right? Shout out to him, right? This is DEFCON, y'all. This is DEFCON. This is, I had to put him in timeout. He was getting too spicy, but thank you. Keep pushing for truth. I have the truth and it's going to piss people off when I drop it and it's coming soon. I don't know if it's going to come on Thursday because I got like a, a work seminar I got to go to and Friday, if it don't come Thursday, it, 
I don't know when it's going to come because I'll have a house full. But thank you, Michael Fury, for the donation. As I was saying, guest list, celebrities, there's all celebrities is going to be a guest list. It's going to be security because you don't want random fans popping up. Now, let's just say, you know, that Hunter or uh, Jacob pop up at the funeral. Who's going to vouch for him? Who's going to who's going to leave the funeral that has the rapport with them to come out and say, hey, this is Hunter. Hey, this is Jacob. You just you just certain things you got to think about. And they had to go through the door and their name had to be on the list. So even if I said, hey, Jacob, um, and this is another thing. Hey, Jacob, you know what? F Tammy, come to the funeral. I know you want to see dad. Hey, guess what that means? I'm not going to be able to attend my own father's funeral. You know, wow. like I feel like I had a that's an assumption. Okay, that's a clear assumption. But you know, I can I can understand where that assumption is coming from because she's a guest. She's a guest at a house with a, a person who she perceives as not having any relationship with. So you could say that's a fair assumption, but at the end of the day, it's still an assumption. The kids came had to pretend and all these like be with her in Texas. It was hard because like Things that she told me before I even came to Texas didn't add up. You know, the first thing she called me on a phone call, she said, Sky, I didn't kill your dad. Now, let's give, let's put some respect on Sky's name because that is the exact story she told me um, about 16 days ago. The exact same story, word for word. So as I'm listening to it, I'm like, okay, Sky, her story hasn't switched. Let's keep going. The first thing she said, I didn't kill your dad. And then she goes in. Which is wild, by the way. If someone called me, like, let's just say my sister transitioned, please. I hope she don't. And her husband called me and said, hey, I just want to let you know, I, I didn't do it. Red flags are going off. Red flags are going off. Into, yeah, on, on, my wow. dad's, on my dad's grave, she said that on my dad's everything. She said that. And then she goes into saying, um, you know, we were, we, she just started, Tammy can never, like, tell the story the correct way like she's just jumping 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 so she's like oh we're she's all like sounding all where you know we were drinking and um now this is another thing. all right now remember francis said she never saw him drink but he did eyeball that glass of wine in his hand okay there we go he eyeballed the glass of wine cool now this is I don't know what date. See, if I'm FC the truth, I'm trying to build a timeline. Hey, when did she call you? Did she call you on the 20th, the, the, the day after? Maybe I missed it, but we're going to get into it. Before I get into that, my dad was sober for 10 years. Mm, now, that, that's sober for 10 years, right? You remember who put that out there? It's only one YouTuber that I know who put out that he was sober for 10 years. Is a, depression is all-time high right now. And no one understands that. I gotta, I gotta, I've been doing poetry. Yeah, poetry. It's a hard thing to, 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 you know, come clean and honest with yourself. You know, I haven't drank in 10 years. People that know me back in the days. Right. You see that? I put that out there. I think I'm the only one that put that out there. But, you know, you know, and we saw her in the chat on certain streams. She told me he recently been drinking for four months. All right, four months. Look at these details. I love details. So now this is this is actually considered Sky's statement. Okay, it's like if she was to sign a sworn affidavit. Hey, I spoke to Tammy. Yes, she told me that she did not, you know, hurt him, and that they were drinking, and he'd been drinking for four months. These are all facts. You cannot say this is hearsay because she's saying, "Hey, I got this directly from Tammy." Now, Tammy can say it's hearsay if it's not true or whatever, but at the same time, it's, hey, this is what happened. Where it becomes hearsay is if I told Sky this. I told Sky that Tammy told me. Now it's hearsay. Okay? Prior to him passing away. Hopefully, y'all, you're learning. So now, now in, in your heart of hearts, do you believe that? Look at that jump cut. Where's, can someone start a counter, please? I, I should have. I should have started to counter. Did you see that cut? She says that, and then next thing you know, boop. Just saying. Just saying. The, the jump cuts, man. After the questions, middle of the questions. Oh, anyway, like the stream, guys. I don't know what I... 
what I believe anymore. I don't, I don't know what I believe anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. There's only one person that knows what happened in that hotel room and that's Tammy. And you know, all, all honesty, right. When my grandfather passed, when he transitioned, it was a hard pill to swallow, right? My grandfather, so strong, probably the strongest man and my spades partner, right? We top, we top five dead or alive. If my sister watching, you know, we had that smoke for you every time on the space table, but he, he ultimately chose to transition, not self transition, but he had a uh, cancer and the doctor said, look, man, um, if you don't go to chemo, it's, it's lights out. It is lights out. And, you know, he said, if I do chemo, I'm going to be sick. What kind of life is that? He did a couple rounds of chemo and he called it quits. He called it quits. And a lot of people were upset, me included. So it was hard for me to believe until my grandma broke it down. But, ooh. And that, that could be for all of us JDF fans, right? That could be for all of the JDF fans. It's hard to believe that this guy who was so upbeat, who was so positive, who was so about living life to the fullest and, you know, the, the three Ps that came to four Ps and, you know, his poetry, he's putting his life out there that he would do something that he said that, you know, wasn't uh, for strong people. And RIP to JDF. Can we get some green, green hearts in the chat, please? Green hearts. Green hearts for JDF because this is, this is deep. Just from what she told me, like they were drinking and then he was taking Ambien. So in my head, I thought my dad had overdosed on sleeping pills or maybe like went to sleep and like hit his head. You know, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm in the airport on my way to Texas. And then I get my friend sends me the TMZ article, uh, you know, a hey, budget cat chill. So I'm I'm at the airport balling crying. When I made it to Texas, I sat down with Tammy. I said, Tammy, did my dad? And she goes, she looks up at me and goes, I thought you knew that. All right, so this is her finding out that um, basically um, what TMZ was reporting is true. Okay, thank y'all for the green hearts. I really appreciate that. Um, Budgie Cat, I'm going to have to time you out. Chill, 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 chill. Save that, save that, save that information for later. We going to get to it. We going to get to it. I promise you. Um, But... This is Sky finding out the method in which JDF transitioned, okay? And it could be traumatic because, like I said, my grandfather, we knew, we had a big party for him too. And it was bittersweet. It was bittersweet because you knew at the party, it was, it was, it was rapidly going downhill. But for JDF, it's worse because it's sudden. It's sudden. It's, hey, we got dinner reservations tomorrow. Maybe we're reconciling. He had a parent, a Comic Con appearance. I know the 30th uh, Power Rangers thing is coming. The next thing you know, he's gone. He's gone. And you just leave everyone with no answer. So, and I just break down crying right then and there. I wanted to be like, You lying ass. You told me something different on the phone. But then guess what would happen if I did that? Get no, out my man. house. Right. Get out my house. I was Speculation, but I don't know if it would have happened if it wouldn't have happened because guess what? Everyone was saying that. Uh, well, after the article came out, people were saying that, but I don't know. Who knows if that, that would have happened. Staying at my dad's house. Get out my house, Jenna. Oh, don't talk to my mom like that. Get out my house. Matter of fact, don't come to the funeral. You're, you're going to do this. And then in their head, they're going to paint a whole different picture of me that I'm this and I'm that. If I was to sit there and go off on Tammy, like, Hey, you right. told me something different. Then they probably would have uninvited me from the funeral. And I wouldn't have been able to attend my father. The only thing that was going through my mind. I wanted to see my dad one last time and say my goodbyes, cry, hug, hold, kiss, whatever. I, I wanted to see my dad. And I, ha I had the honor. Jump cut. Yeah, I noticed the jump cut. I'm just, I'm just here to point out the jump cuts. Let me get back to my notes. I was looking at the chat. Budgie cat, chill. We're going we gonna to get to all that, man. I promise you. You know, I had the chance of doing that. But, like, people just keep, like, saying these things and painting this picture like i felt so alone in texas i felt like it was me against tammy and all their family i had nobody i had to fly my cousin my mom okay look this alone thing this i think this is the second time it came up but yeah i definitely oh i said she was alone. yeah 
you feel alone. You probably like this is when this is when FC the truth say, hey, when was the last time you seen um uh Tammy prior to this, right? Because now you can like you could put together if there is a relationship there. Like if she say, Well, oh, I haven't seen Tammy in, in five years. I haven't I don't talk to her on the phone, and now you come into her house under these circumstances. Yes, it could be a little awkward. Um sister's daughter. I had to fly her out from Cali just so she could sit by me at the funeral. And at first, Tammy's, um, Tammy's, what was it? Tammy's aunt was like basically saying like, oh, she, my cousin couldn't sit next to me in the funeral. She had to sit behind me. But she was letting Jenna's friend that Jenna just met. That Now, this is where like Jenna or Tammy, maybe if they ever speak out, they can address this. Because right now we just hear it. We heard. Um, Francis story. And you know what Francis said was that Sky was treated, she received the same treatment like Jenna, with the exception of going up there to talk. I was in town for two, like a few days, sit in the front row with the family. Like, you don't even this girl flew out to Texas to come visit my sister. And then while she was visiting my sister, my dad had passed away. Now you see this sibling rivalry. You see the sibling rivalry. How is Jenna able to have a friend and I am not? And shout out to Alicia S. You know, she, look, she, Alicia S, right? She didn't got timed out plenty of times, but she keep, she keep coming back. And yes, my glass is empty, bro. I'm gonna go fill it up. Give me some time. But this is the sibling rivalry I'm talking about. Hey, how is Jenna able to have a friend and I'm not? I want my friend here. I want my cousin here. Sibling rivalry. Look. Don't get, look, for everyone out here, right? I got a sister. There is no rivalry. She won, okay? And I knew she was going to win just, just the way, you know, I laid the, uh, let me say, I laid the foundation, I, you know, but my sister is phenomenal. And guess what? You know what the sibling rivalry usually is about? There's none between me and my sister. I want her to win. She want me to win. And she's winning, okay? And she doing better than me. I'm getting divorced. She's on her second kid. Shout out to her if she watching. Shout out to you, but the sibling rivalry, right? It stunts your growth. It stunts your growth uh, maturing. You're always comparing yourself to your sibling. So I would say, if you got a brother or sister, cheer for them. Be their biggest cheerleader. Okay, look. So okay, they got an advantage that you didn't. Cool, fine. It happens. But what's happening is this sibling rivalry is shackling their relationship from blossoming. Right. Because you would think sometimes in and when someone transitions, it brings people together because, hey, we both lost our dad. We should be hugging it out. We should be crying it out. We should be. Yes, we, we may not have been in each other's lives for the longest, but let's let's come together. Let's put all this childish stuff behind. But here we go. Hey, how you got a friend? And I don't got a friend. Sibling rivalry. It, it's. It, it kneecaps you. Wow. So. But you get she had she got to sit in the front row. So it was, but my cousin ended up sitting in the front row because my sister's boyfriend felt bad and he gave up his seat for. My whoa, 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 whoa! Did y'all peep that? Y'all need me to rewind it. This is not a jump cut. This is me rewinding it. This is me rewinding it. What she said? Tammy's. What was it? Tammy's aunt was like basically saying like, "Oh, she my cousin couldn't sit next to me in the funeral. She had to sit behind me." But she was letting Jenna's friend that Jenna just met. That was in town for two, like a few days, sit in the front row with the family. Like, you don't even, this girl flew out to Texas to come visit my sister. And then while she was visiting my sister, my dad had passed away. Wow. So, but you get, she had, she got to sit in the front row. So it was, but my cousin ended up sitting in the front row because my sister's boyfriend. Jenna got a boyfriend. Did y'all, did y'all hear her just out Jenna for having a boyfriend? Did you hear that? Did Jenna want that out there? Jenna, did you did did you want your boyfriend to be known? Did they want to, did you want to be public? Well, it's public now. It is public now that Jenna got a boyfriend. Where is this boyfriend? Where he at? Where was he at in all this? All right, but let's get back to some seriousness. Shout out to Jenna and her boyfriend. Hopefully, he consoling her. Felt bad, and he gave up his seat for my cousin. He was like, you know what, Sky, I shouldn't be sitting in the front. Your cousin should be sitting in the front. I'm gonna go sit in the back. Whoa. Okay. So. She just introduced another person. So if her boyfriend, if Jenna boyfriend come out, right? 
And he gonna do one or two things. He gonna be able to say, "Yeah, I told her I gave up my seat so she and her cousin can sit in the front." And yo, come on, y'all, come, mulatto vanguard, chill, <laughs> chill. I mean, you ain't being disrespectful, but chill, chill, chill. But she introduced another party. The boyfriend said, "Hey, come, come have my seat." That's all. So my sister's boyfriend did that for me. Also, like you didn't get to speak at the funeral. And I, I wanted you to touch on that, like why you are right. OK, so this is going to be the first example of lying by omission. OK. And when I say I have hard evidence, there's nothing that gets me more excited. Well, there's some some things that get me more excited. But when I have hard evidence, pause, it is it is juicy. It is juicy. Let's hear what she has to say, and then I'll play you my evidence. Well, I'm not going to play it. I'll read it. Why you didn't get to speak at the funeral? And I'm going to, um, I don't know why, but I'm going to say this, that I know that Francis did. Uh, my dad's old assistant came out and said, oh, Sky could have spoke. Hey, why is she, why is she trying to like downplay Fran- Francis? Y'all better put some, fra- some respect on Francis' name. Old assistant? She was assistant for over a decade. Decade. What the, do I gotta hit y'all with the sound effects that I know y'all love? A decade. I just I just called her recently today and I said, Hey, look, I, I see you got an interview coming out tomorrow. What did you like? You know, I hope you're not oh, I'm not talking crap about you, whatever. She's she apparently is is saying her side of the funeral. I was with Tammy days and days. I don't know. Okay, so now what she's trying to do is discredit Francis. Francis was there, okay? So um Francis definitely has a side of the funeral, but it's her observations. Now, she can't speak on anything that happened before. Yes, Bushido Blade, Francis is awesome because she didn't have to do that interview. She could have just been like, Henry, F you. Get out of my face. And she did at first, y'all. She did. She gave me the cold shoulder. She was like, I ain't talking to you. My name is Bennett and I ain't in it. But, you know, I worked that magic, established a relationship, built up a rapport, and next thing you know, you got an um, interview. And that's kind of how it works, guys. If you want to get an interview with somebody, it's not going to happen overnight. You're going to have to establish a rapport. You're going to have to give some back and forth. You're going to have to establish trust. And you're going to have to, you know, be a man of your word or a woman of your word. If you're trying to do this, April, is you still here? Okay, yeah. Okay, April here. She's going to have a channel, and it's going to blow up. How long? I was with, I flew out there like a week before the funeral. So me and Tammy had all this time together before the funeral. I spoke with Tammy one-on-one outside when we were smoking a cigarette. Hey, who's, you know, can I, do you think I could speak at my dad's funeral? Who's going to speak? And she's like, uh, 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 babe, there's, there's not going to be enough time. We only have an hour service. It's only me, Sam and Tony speaking. And she was like, um, she's like, I have to get everything together tonight. Like all the, uh, the videos and pictures and music and and basically from that point it was a no like i couldn't speak. all right so technically this is this is where i come in the investigator come in technically she never said no is that a correct statement right you when i when look if if i'm interviewing you and you start hearing me saying technically it's all bad but what did what did Sky? What did Sky leave out? Hold on, let me go to my notes. Okay, let me go to my notes. Sky told someone that Tammy said when she asked who was going to speak because she wanted to speak. Tammy said, and I quote, and when I use quote, that means you might as well had a, like a court stenographer dinner. Tammy said to Sky when Sky asked, "Could she speak?" I'm going to try and see if I can get more time because your dad is a celebrity. Now, Sky, is that what Tammy told you? That's just a yes or no question. If you say yes, but I didn't get to speak, well, uh, uh, you just said she said no. But whatever, let's keep going, y'all. That's that's a lie by omission. This is what it not. Maybe she misremembered. Maybe she forgot. You know, she got caught up in the moment, forgot that that interaction had happened. So anyway, can y'all like the stream? I see we got 220,000 people. This is the most people I ever had. But like the stream, it's free. It was only in my head. It was only and I was 
at that point, I wanted to speak, but if I knew Jenna was going to speak, I would have been like, oh, hell no. Uh-oh, sibling rivalry strikes again. If I knew Jenna was going to speak, I would have said, oh, hell no, I'm going to speak. This is what I'm talking about, this sibling rivalry. Now, look, I get it. It's her father. He passed. But uh, the sibling rivalry, man, uh, it's just so, like, here's the thing, right? Maybe you don't speak at the funeral. And then you say, look, I didn't get to say this at the funeral, but I'm going to go live and I'm going to put this video up. And this is what I want to say to everyone. This is what I want everyone to know about my father. This is what I want everyone to know about their relationship. Um, this, is, this is what I want people to know, the, the bond we share. This is what I want to speak on my brother's behalf. This is what I want to say on my mom's behalf. We all going to miss him dearly. I didn't get to say this at the funeral, but this is what I would have said. You do that on your Instagram. You got 50,000 subscribers or whatever, you, you, and you leave the video up. You don't put it in a story and you delete it the next day. You put it right there, and then bam, now your message gets out. But I get it. You in competition with Jenna. Uh, that, that's my interpretation. If I'm wrong, say, hey, I'm wrong. Okay. You know I know how to do a poll now, y'all. Maybe I'll hit y'all with a poll. Uh, let's keep going. We halfway through. Oh, like, let me speak, too. Like, right, I didn't right. know Jenna was going to speak. I thought it was only Tammy, Tony, and Sam. So when the funeral came and Tammy's turn to go, she brings Jenna up with her. And I said, the first thing I thought, I said, you knew what you were doing. Like, you knew you were going to pull Jenna. Jump cut. She knew what she was doing. So let me tell you something even more funnier. After the funeral, I sit down with Tammy, right? And out of nowhere, Tammy goes, Sky, I just, I just want to say, Area I had one. no idea Jenna was going to speak. Okay. I didn't do that on purpose. But the way her body language was telling Body language expert in the building. Body language expert. I'm t I, hey, I appreciate y'all saying, hey, Sky is right. That's cool. You want to say that? Hey, if you follow Sky, you would know exactly where the sibling rivalry started. She blocked me. Telling me that it's like, why did you feel the need to approach me and tell me that after the funeral? Because it was it was in the back of yeah. your head. It was that guilt, guilty conscience. Now, see, this is where FC Truth you overstep. And my boss, you know my boss, right? Y'all, y'all know my boss. I showed y'all my boss, right? If he saw me do some stuff like that, he'll be looking at me just like this, like, why you say that, Henry? What I tell you? We we don't pick sides. We just collect information. That's all we do. You just said that she was guilty. What's wrong with you? I taught you better. Get out of my face. Get out of my office. Who taught you? Okay, that's my boss. He, look, this dude got 20 years of experience doing investigations, and he taught me everything you know. And he was like, y'all watch Star Wars? He was like, he was like, I don't know, like, uh, he was like Palpatine. <laughs> and I was Darth Vader. You know I was going to get him at some point but i left so he had to find another one but yeah he taught me everything i know and you just you never even if even if you feel that way you don't tell the subject that but sometimes like um to make the subject more feel more comfortable to open up you may lean a little bit into it you may lean in and be like hey yeah 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 she was guilty right yeah but it's anyway, like i'm too I know bad. she feels some type of way let me say something real quick you know yeah that's but yeah, no, I didn't get a chance and I was not asked. I asked her if I could speak and I was told I couldn't. We just, we just know what Tammy told you. We got it. I, I heard it. I heard what Tammy told you. Ooh, don't do that. Like it's trying to control the narrative. You kind of manipulating people, but it's okay. Shout out to all my team sky people, which y'all should not be team anybody. Y'all should just be either team truth, team family, team JDF. So that's the bottom line truth. And like I said, this is my father I'm talking about. You heard it. That's the bottom line truth, right? So if someone release a recording after hearing this and it says that you, that she told you that she would try to get you more time because she's a celebrity, like, do people want the truth or they just want to pick sides? Just saying, like, NF, you want the truth or you want to pick sides? Oh, I would, if I could go back, like, I would now want to press my issue so I could speak for my father at his funeral. Like, you know, 
you know, like my father's not here anymore. So what do I gain from lying about this? The only thing I'm gaining is losing sleep and being more depressed. Like I'm putting myself in the ringer by standing up for myself, if that makes any sense. So and and to be clear, this all started with like Tammy saying that you weren't close to JDF and you, you know, and this is a money thing. You're trying to get money. I want you to touch on that a little bit. Like, so this is where all this started. It had nothing to do with money or anything. I don't have, I'm not obviously listen uh, apparently on the trust. I, we're not getting anything like it's, it's, it had to do with this. Um, I had texted Tony, the man that spoke at my dad's funeral. And I had said, um, you know, this is when he, he, that dude, Henry, Oh, did you hear did she drop my name and he blurred it out? Oh, she said this when that dude Henry Resilient. <sighs> why you blurt well, FC the truth? Why you blur out my name, bro? I'm shouting your name, you know, to the masses. I'm I'm linking you in the chat. Like, yo. Was messaging me, sending me all these documents, basically putting it in my head that I needed to oh. get a lawyer and look over things. Yes. So I had texted Tony. All right. This is where another look. If you have any interaction with me, y'all, look. Let me let me go full screen. If you have, uh oh, my brand ain't up. I hate when my brand ain't up. I hate when it ain't up because people don't know my name. I think sometimes. If you have any interaction with me, right? Any interaction, you tell the whole truth. You don't tell the truth that makes you look good. You don't tell the truth that supports your narrative. You tell the whole truth. All right. Because I'm not about exposing people per se, but I am about the truth. Okay, so what documents? If I'm FC the truth, I'm like, well, what documents did he send you? Okay, and you like y'all probably wondering like, Henry, what? You had all the documents. What? What? What documents did you send her? Like to put this idea in her head that she should get a lawyer? Did you tell her she should get a lawyer? Damn right I did. But I also told her some other things and we going to get to the other things, but I want to, I want to, we going to get to her story and then I'm going to show you my receipts. Cause we are hour and 31 minutes in and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do a little bit of straightening. Y'all heard Domingo straightening. We're going to have to do a little straightening and you know, it's no slight to her, no slight to her. Let's hear what she had to say. Like, yo, I don't, I had said this. I don't trust this bitch. I had to talk. I was talking about Tammy. I, why he ain't blurt that out. And I was, this is a personal text message like it's just me and him you know what i mean so i'm i'm telling him all these things i don't trust tammy how i don't trust what's going on with the paperwork that i want to speak to my dad's attorney because i'm 24 years old why haven't i heard anything yet right. i'm his first daughter i'm entitled to know these things and i'm a grown woman why haven't anybody reached out to me yet tammy's not telling me anything she's she's telling tony to tell me what kind what kind of like you should approach me as a woman and tell me these things why are you going Sorry, guys. Going through a second person to relay the message to me when you have my phone number and we text. Right. So exactly. something's weird. Like in my head, something's off. So I had to told Tony, you know, let me get the my dad's uh, attorney's number so I could talk to him myself. He goes, okay, I'll ask Tammy. Next thing you know, I'm on a road trip back Thank home you. from New right. Year's. I fall asleep. I wake up. Jenna texts in my phone. Boom. Oh, we're on the we're on the wheel, and he didn't leave you guys anything, and. I know that might hurt your feelings, but my mom doesn't have to for you guys. And it was the way that she was texting me. And she was like, oh, you're burning your bridges, little mama. Like, first of all, who you think you are saying? Like, girl, you are not hood. Okay, look, look, y'all. We're going to stop it right here. we going to stop it right here because we're going to show you what I text her. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do it like this. If you trust me and I tell you I sent her something, Put a one in the chat. If you don't trust me and you want to see proof of what I sent her, put a two in the chat, okay? Because if if I show you the proof, it's going to take a little longer. If I tell you what I sent her, we can go a little faster. I know people got to I got to go back to work or, uh, okay, we got the ones, ones, ones. People trust me. People trust. I see some twos. I see some people. He went one, then two. If you want the screenshots, too, if you want to just me to zip through what I sent her, one. Okay? Okay, I see a bunch of ones. I see a bunch of ones. I see a bunch of ones. It looks like the ones have it. The ones, one and two. Look, look, Eric said two. Like, that's my own mind. He's saying two. Okay. All right. 
we gonna do half and half. How about that? Half and half. Okay, let me pull it up. Give me one second. Sky proof, 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 proof. Uh, let me make sure this is perfect. Okay. All right. We're going to share the screen. And I remember I can't make it bigger because just the nature. But look, s screenshot the screen. All right. So here we go. Ooh, nope. All right. So January 2nd, 17, when she says, yes, I got that text from. Uh, Jenna. And, you know, that's when Jenna was, you know, talking all that fast, all that fast stuff like, hey, we on the trust. Stop calling my mama. Biah, and, you know, be easy, little mama. OK, this is what she sent me. She, you see that? I need your help. Look at me. I help everybody. People who send me emails who are struggling with their uh, depression. <laughs> Damn, wish I had glasses. OK, Blake. Um, I help them like, OK, let's see if I can make it bigger, bigger. Hold on. How's that? Hopefully it's bigger. OK, so she said, I need your help. Let me remove this to pull up the next tab, make sure I got it right. And what else uh, does she ask me to do? OK. All right. So what does she ask me to do next, y'all? What do you think she asked me to do yet? Do next. <sighs> what did she ask me to do? Uh, sibling rivalry. Sibling rivalry. I hate it. I hate it. But don't ever, don't ever. <sighs> this is all January 2nd. She said, like, I need your help, please. Me and my brothers need justice. I am watching this unfold. Did Jenna post anything? She blocked me. God damn. It's that sibling rivalry bullshit, man. Y'all see it now? And I'm like, ah, oh, this is what she sent me. This is what she sent me. This is, this is real conversations. This is not to uh, the fame sky or anything, but this is kind of to clear my name because I sent her the original divorce documents and like we covered the divorce documents. So it's nothing, nothing crazy there. Hold on. Let me remove that. So that's her saying, hey, can you see what Jenna, what, what, what Jenna posting? What Jenna posting? And I'm like, girl, and what else did she send me? What else do you think she sent me? She sent me um, the, whatchamacallit, the trust. Okay. She sent me the trust. And what did I say? Um. I gave her some acknowledge. I gave her some advice. And this is what y'all want to see. Can y'all like the stream? Dude, all right. Let's, let's get this guy out of here. Dude, S the F up with the sibling rivalry. This should be equal just like Jenna. Dude, you do not see the sibling rivalry? Does this guy not see the sibling rivalry? Hey, I'm being screwed. What did my sister post? Like, I, I don't get you guys. Like, is it, am I blind? Is he blind? What's going on? So what else did she send me? Um, da, 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 da. I'm about to show it right now. Give me a second. Mm. Add the stream. Okay. She sends me this. This is the uh, unofficial copy of the trust. And I said, this is sad. That's me. I sent her like screenshots that uh, Jenna was the beneficiary. And I sent their screenshots that Jenna was the trustee. Okay. I have all of that. Um, so when she say I sent her documents, she like, she not, you know, she leaving out the fact that she knew 15 days ago about this trust and that I broke everything down to her. And look at, look at my, look at my demeanor. I'm afraid not. Um, I'm so sorry. He really put all his assets in a trust and left Jenna everything. So I sat on this. I sat on this. The date of the trust? Come on, dude. Like, go watch the other streams. All right, so we're going to do half and half. We're going to go through the timeline now. And let me share this tab. This is bigger. Okay, so we can make this bigger so you guys can see. All right. Maybe that's too big. That's what she said. All right, here we go. 
still too big. All right, so here's the timeline. And we'll do it the side by side way. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so what does it say? On 12 24, I'm alerted to her existence. I like a story post of her and her dad. She asks me who I am. I say I'm an investigator looking to the case. I educate her on the law and explain without a will, she's entitled to 12.5% along with her brothers. This is before I got the, the trust documents. I tell her, hire an attorney, look into it, right? Now, look, what you'll see in this next post right here is at 1910 hours, she sends me a text from Jenna. That's the original text. She says, now I'm posting the truth. F everyone, I need your help. Please, me and my brothers need justice. Can you spy on Jenna? I, I did. Like, whatever. Sorry, your brother were not invited to the um, funeral, nor were you allowed to speak. This is me being manipulated, guys. This is her not telling me that uh, Hunter disowned her a while back. This is not um, her telling me that Jacob threatened um, Jenna and Tammy. So this is me hindsight looking back saying, hey, I was manipulated, right? What else did I do? I offered to tell her story on my channel. Awful stated, sadly, if he did have a living trust, this is before she sent me the documents, and only they are the trustees, you will be out of receiving anything, okay? This is what I'm telling you. This is what this is honest to God's truth of what, what transpired between me and her. And this is, I feel like he's out to prove Sky is being jealous or messy. <laughs> look at you. You don't even want the truth. <laughs> you don't even want the truth, MF. Like, what are you doing? But look how he he nitpicked her interview. I'm, pick, I'm picking it apart. So I tell her, hey, message TMZ and all the other outlets. I tripled down on Tammy's story not making sense. I'm with her. I'm like, hey, this story don't make sense. You need to tell your story beginning to end. Can you help me draft my statement? Unscripted is better. This is my actual words. But if you script it, then it can hit harder. I am media trained. Okay, look, I am media trained. My job is, is part of it. Um, but th that's it. I sent her where she can get the autopsy report because she said, hey, I don't believe that he was drinking. I said, hey. Here is a screenshot of where you can go to apply for the autopsy. Okay. So this is me helping her. And guess what? I got screenshots and screen records of all this stuff. So when people say I'm team Tammy, I'm like, dude, I, I gave, I gave Sky everything she wanted. Okay. How much more could I have helped her? Okay. Um, she sends me an unofficial copy of the trust. Check out. Give me your input. I send her the pictures of the trust. All this good stuff. Um, I'm afraid not. Sorry, put all the assets in there. Hey, get a lawyer. It costs you $300, but the trust is ironclad. It's ironclad. It's bulletproof. You're not, you're not busting up that trust. So, And then I ran out of time to prep. So let's get back to her interview. For everyone who's like, what did he send her? Like, dude, I don't got to lie. I never lie. Well, I do lie. I did tell my daughter Santa Claus is real. So don't tell her. About that life, stop. You was not about that life. Like, don't come at You want to come at me? I was already upset. Now look, Jenna no karate. <laughs> because she said, don't call my mom a bitch. So Tony had sent her the screenshots of me calling her mom a bitch, saying that I wanted my dad's attorney's number. So he stirred up the whole pot. Right. I was never going to bring this to, ever going to bring this to social media, ever. But Tony wants to be messy. Then, then Jenna wants to text me. I was like, I snapped. I was like, you know what? Since you guys want to sit here and say you don't have to for us in the, the, the. All caps will get you timed out way you're talking to me it's like you're belittling you're belittling me so i'm gonna now i do agree with that i do agree with that um i do agree with that um the what jenna was saying is is it's it's her throwing a jab at her younger her older sister for not getting left nothing okay 
and mods, Budgie Cat, April, chill out, y'all, chill out. We all family here. Um, but that's what Jenna did. And Jenna, she be she be sneak dissing. She, you know, she 18. I ain't giving her no grace because we gotta hold her accountable just like we hold Sky accountable. But chill out. Everybody should just chill out. Gonna put it out there. I'm gonna show all the fans how you really talk to me behind closed doors, that you're not this sweet little angel. And right. I'm gonna on my brothers and on my behalf. Like that's how this all started. Right. Because so. I saw that screenshot where Tammy was like, all I care about is making sure Jenna's good. And the vibe I got from did you notice that jump cut? He was talking mid sentence. So they, they're cutting things out. And remember, I told you they cut out the, the Hunter thing. We're we going to touch on Hunter. And they cut out her living with Jacob. We're going to touch on Jacob. I mean, it was kind of cold because it's like, come on, he's got three other kids. And all you care about is making sure Jenna's straight. It, it, this is the thing that uh, I want people to understand, too, and why I'm so upset about. All right. So you you have this thing where uh, let, let's get out of it. I hate I hate this right here. This this screen. Um, we're, we're talking about Jenna being straight and Tammy saying, I only care about Jenna being straight. This is where you, this is where like Tammy could, I, like, I would love to talk to Tammy off. Tammy, if you're listening, come on, come, come get this. Come talk to me. I, I got some questions for you. Um, this is where you ask Tammy, like, uh, what did you mean by that? When you said that, I mean, we know what she meant, but what was their motivation behind it? We know, uh, we know Jacob threatened her life. So. That ain't and it, that ain't happening. So if someone threatened my life, I don't care what what you say. You ain't getting you ain't getting jack. Um, we know Hunter. Y'all don't know the story behind Hunter, but I do. And I'll share what Jacob had to say about Hunter in a minute. And we we see Sky Sky, who's openly said I'd never had a relationship with her. She was never nice to me. So now you have Tammy potentially having control over his estate and. This is who is she supposed to did she out the money to the whole um, trust and the will thing because Tammy had Tony reach out to me. This is before the beef. And to be clear, uh, Tony is who for for people that Tony don't. is one of my dad's friends. Okay, that my dad would talk major shit about. But <laughs> when my dad passed away, he was his best friend apparently, right? So, anyways. Tony had, um, uh, Tammy had called Tony. Tony called me and said, Sky, it looks like you and your brothers are in the will. I need you to send your ID, your name, your address to, to my phone so I could send it to Tammy so she could give it to the attorney. All right. So this part right here, this is where Tony, like when, when all these parts start coming in, like we have the aunt of, uh, I think Jenna. We have her boyfriend. We have Sky's cousin. Now we have Tony. All these interactions. This is where you want to like get their input. This is where they come up and say, yeah, I did say they were on the wheel. Or no, I never said they were on the wheel. So Tammy put it in our heads that we're on a wheel. So we're thinking we're getting a, a letter. I had, the, I had posted all the screenshots of Tony saying you'll be get, uh, receiving a letter of your dad's estates. Why would you call me and tell me that we're on a wheel? told both of my brothers so now like we're we're like first of all we're happy because we're like damn dad really did love us like he left us he left us something like he didn't forget about us like i told right. you so like he loved me you know now right here i know body language expert but she looks surprised that her father left her anything it was that type of thing like, it wasn't about money it was like oh, my dad was really did like he loved us even though we we had our issues you know and right. um, more like a, like a, like a final gift, you know. Yeah, like a like, final gift. Like, hey, you know what I mean. And then um, what happened was. See, this is where you say, "Hey, were you surprised that your father left you anything? Were you surprised you were on the wheel? Did you know? Did he say you were on the wheel? Do you did he text you you were on the wheel? Like, anyway, I want a, a body language to expert to review uh Tammy at that funeral. You know, I went in on Tammy at that funeral. Is that the Henry? Guy sent me these documents. Look, she, she keeps saying documents. We know I sent her the I only sent her the divorce documents. I only sent her the divorce documents, which are public record, which I told her to look through. And then when she sent me the trust, I said, Hey, <laughs> it, uh, ain't nothing happening for you or your brothers. But get a lawyer's opinion. It costs 300 bucks for them to look it over, tell you your options. 
But for the most part, he put everything in the trust. Everything in the trust goes to Jenna. Jenna, uh, Tammy filed for the application for administrator. She'll be soon taken over. I actually checked today and it has not been signed off yet, but it's coming. When weeks went by and the trust was out, Tammy took the information I sent her just to list it as we were Jason's kids. And that's exactly what I told Sky in our private conversation. That's ex what I told her 15 days ago. But Jenna was getting everything. Yep. And she didn't tell me any of that. I found out through someone else sending me it. Was it me? <laughs> so that's why. Now do you see why I'm pissed? Why I'm mad? Why I'm talking online? Yeah, that's I'm, cool. The whole time me and my all right, someone said, where can you find a lawyer for 300? Um, NF, that's an excellent question. I'll tell you, um, typically in my state, a lawyer just for an hour is going to run you anywhere between 250 to the most I seen was like 600 an hour. And that's just for divorce. And typically you just want a free consultation, right? So let me give y'all some free game. You say, hey, my person is gone. I have a copy of their trust. Is there any way it could be broken? Now they're going to say, okay, you're going to have to retain me. And the next thing you know, they're going to retain, you retain them. And they may be like, look, there's nothing you could do legally because they're not going to give you legal advice for free. You have to retain them. And that 300 bucks is a retainer. So if you want to get married, right, you're thinking about getting married, pay 300 bucks, go talk to a divorce attorney and say, hey, should I get married? Excellent question. And if next time send a super chat. My brothers are waiting for a letter in the mail. And the whole time you used me to give you my brothers and my addresses, IDs, social security numbers, so you could list it on the trust under children. All right. It wasn't listed on a trust. It was listed in our application. I should bring it up. Y'all want me to bring up the application? No, we, we got, we, we, we low on time. We were almost about two hours in. I, I want to get out of here. I got to go to sleep. I got my daughter got to wake up. We close. But if you hear it, like the stream. Um, she put it in the application for administrator. All right. And typically like the legalese, a lawyer would tell you, like, it don't matter if she gets your address or not. It helps. It lets you notify that, hey, in a state, it is, it is speed up the process. But at the same time, uh oh. Uh oh, we got to we got to we got to time somebody out. Dang, Deflin, you couldn't you couldn't hold your cool. You couldn't hold your cool. Jesus, man, what's what's wrong with you? All right. Shout out to my bras. They was on it. You lied to me. You told me that. Well, technically, Tony said it. We were a part of a will. And that's why you needed our information so you could give it to the attorney. I should have known better. This is why no, uh, the Dang. attorney should have called me and asked me for that. Why? Why would the attorney call you? You're not his widow, but I know I'm Team Tammy. <laughs> what about the law? Does anyone care what the law say? Or are we just going off feelings and emotions? Does anyone care about the law? Team Truth, Team JDF, that's, that's all we are. Hey, what the law say? The information. Something was off already. What do you feel like? Did y'all notice the jump cut? God damn, man, these jump cuts be out here. Where are my notes at? Where, where are we at? We at the 30, 23 minute mark. You know I got notes. I got notes. I took notes all the way throughout this whole. What you need to do moving forward? Like just. Excellent question. What do you need to do moving forward? What do you need to do moving forward? As far as like the state and just like even just the situation with tammy are you just kind of like fed up with everything kind of like uh, i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you i have no i have no desire to ever have a relationship with tammy or jenna i don't personally and I, I see people like oh well, that's your half sister they have hurt me so much even before my dad had passed away that i'm just i'm i, I don't want it in my life like, I don't want people in my life that don't really love me or care for me because you would never tell me these hurtful things, especially after my father passed away, looking me in my eyes, telling me dad hated you and dad doesn't even love you. That is hurtful. When someone tells you a person didn't, didn't love you, they are trying to hurt you. And even if it's true or not, that's the goal. Hey, they didn't love you. That shit's hurtful. Someone did that to me, right? You know, my uncle uh, who passed away from the heart attack, his wife told someone I love that I didn't love them. And that at that moment, her, she, she was, she no longer existed to me. But so that's where 
Sky is. And I could kind of feel if, if that's true, what happened? Yeah, I feel Sky. You told me that? Yeah, F y'all. Who would say that? Why would you make me feel like that? Right. And especially I had to bury my dad. Like, I just, I don't, they're not my family to me. You know, if that, if I'm just being 100% honest, like I don't want. Now this is sad, right? This is sad. This is someone saying, hey, we're blood, but that's not my family. And I don't like seeing that. I mean, look, I know how it is. I'm older. I'm a little bit older. So I get it. But at the same time, if I can go back in time, maybe there are some things with my family I would do differently. But I made my bed. I'm going to sleep in it. That in my life. Um, I don't trust them. You know, it's like I shouldn't feel that way about my sister or okay. I should never have to feel that way. Like I wouldn't. I like when it comes to my brothers, like I know my brothers would never backstab me or, or do that. We fight like we all, all. Yeah, of course, we're brothers, sisters. Like they get on my nerves. All right. They fight. OK, let's go to our guy. Let's talk about Hunter. Right. We're going to talk. We're not going to talk about the, the real reason why Hunter doesn't talk to Sky. But we're going to talk about what's Hunter's state affairs and we're going to talk about the brothers and the relationship that they have okay um give me one second you know i gotta find the proof okay this is a message from jacob share tab i know y'all like we can't see it all right this is uh this is gonna be pretty big Hunter disowned the whole family. Hunter also disowned our father. I tried multiple times to get Hunter to talk with our father. Hunter told me he's done with dad and doesn't want to talk to dad. I tried multiple times, even gave our father Hunter's work number. You know, I gave him Hunter's work number because Hunter don't mess with him. Um, and Hunter turned him down and said, don't talk to me. Don't speak to me. Don't message me. I want nothing to do with you. So Hunter is in the wind. Hunter basically disowned the whole family. Let me let me get this out of here and uh, let me make sure I got the next message prepared. Um, da, 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 give me a second. Um, here we go. Add the stream. Um. My father told me, it's okay, just let it go. Hunter will do what he wants. Now that our father is dead, that probably hit Hunter hard. My father told me, it's okay to let it go. Hunter will do what he wants. Now that our father is unalive, that probably hit Hunter hard. That's right. Like the stream, people. No one has this information on YouTube. All my JDF fans, y'all like, hey, what's going on in this life? Hey, there we go. What's going on with the kids? Hey, there we go. So that's where Hunter is at, right? And something happened in Hunter's life where he just was like, um, no, I'm not dealing with nobody. We are gonna get back to Sky's interview because we're almost through it. We're almost through, we've got like 10 minutes. They've never crossed the line like Jenna did. Are you crazy? Come on, come on. They never crossed the line like maybe they didn't. To be fair, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't. Okay. But let's talk about let's keep going. Hold up. Y'all not even seeing this. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> she said her and Jacob are super close. I'm his little sister. I know him all the time, but he and lived. Jacob, with Jacob's the oldest, right? He's the oldest. Like, we lived together last year. So, like, I don't okay. know what people. That's what I'm saying. People just talk. And then, like, I saw some YouTuber pull up old messages from 2011 of my brother Hunter talking crap about me. There, there we go. So I was wrong. It hasn't been cut out. But why does Hunter not talk to you? That's what, look, I know the answer. But I don't think she's, she, she should answer it. But anyway, we. Like, 
he was mad over something else. Like that was 2011. How? Okay. So that was, that was 2011 that he was mad over, right? Look at this. What did Tammy do in 2011? When she looked at her about them juicy couture things. Um, Blake, why, why, why was the answer? It's Jermaine's, it's Jermaine's fault. fault. It's but Jermaine's we are supposed to disregard um, what Hunter posted in 2011, but accept what Sky's testimony was about 2012, 2011 with her interaction with Tammy. So either we're going to accept everything or we're going to accept nothing. You see how it worked? You can't cherry pick like she cherry picked. You know what she said that I sent her. Don't cherry pick. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Let's keep going. Like that was what, 12 years ago? Right. Like how can you pull up a post from 12 years ago when I just put screenshots of me talking to my brother last month? Exactly. 12 years, one month. Last month. Oh gosh. It's it's so much going on here that I just can't share, guys. Month ago. Come and on. and siblings squabble all the time, you know. It's like, yeah, of course, like I mean, to be honest, <laughs> yeah, okay. when I saw him saying that, Sky, and I was like, I started laughing. I was like, dang, because you know what's crazy? I never knew he posted that. <laughs> <So yesterday. laughs> hey, at least she watching my stream. Shout out to Sky. I hope she hitting that like button, but I think she hitting that thumbs down. I found out about the post twelve years later. <laughs> what? That's crazy. That's crazy. So how did you feel about Jacob having to kind of get online and prove that, hey, I had a relationship with my dad. He used to send me stuff, but Tammy didn't like that. It hurt me because that whole entire night I had to deal with my brother's emotions personally, besides of what I posted online. Um, it was it was it was heartbreaking to. Because, OK. When it comes to me and my brothers, I feel like I'm the one that's like the fighter. I'm the one that stands up. I'm the one that could take pain. Like, don't hurt my brothers, hurt me. Right. So I'm hurting. That's fine. But I just don't want to see the people I love hurting. I've always been that way. And my heart right. is just like, so when I had to see my brother go through that, it just broke my heart. Like, it, it, I felt really, really bad for my brother and for, for, for everybody involved. Now, look, we don't want, uh, either brother or sky to self transition and what she's talking about with jacob yeah he sent me some messages that he's thinking about it but he also sent me some messages saying that he was thinking about doing something else that conflicts with self transitioning and i told him get help and i i told him you know despite our differences i would never tell him to you know do anything other than get help okay so sky was 12 in 2011 bro hey what you think is you 12 you can't do nothing treacherous um, and I also want to talk about like jump. Tammy saying like, oh, he didn't he didn't really mess with y'all like that, blah, blah, blah. I want you to talk about like all the things that your dad did for you and your brothers, because I feel like that kind of dispels that whole rumor that and also that like a lot of stuff he did for y'all. It had to be a secret. You know, a lot of people yeah. out there go through that with, with families. And tell me about that a little bit. Like, he asks a question, and then it just jump cut to a different question. Oh, I think maybe was this in um, probably like two years ago or a little over. Uh, yeah, I have to get the exact date, but like probably like two years ago, my dad had um, I had went out to Texas to go see him. All right. Write this down. Two years ago, 2011, she went out to Texas to see her father. Okay. Two years ago, went to Texas to see her father. This is a perfect time for FC The Truth to say, is that the last time you saw your father? Just saying, like, you want to build that timeline, guys. I know we got a couple people who want to be investigators out here, but you want to build that timeline. Like the stream, guys. And I haven't seen him in a while. I actually saw Tammy out there, too. Um, but I had um, my dad when I left. Like, my dad had gave me, like. Cause I had, I didn't, I was homeless. I didn't have a place to live and stuff. So my dad had helped me get a place like, and like my dad did come back and help me out. Like, you know, and, um, so talk about, look at that. Whoa, whoa, hell no. What do you mean? You were homeless as an adult. Now look, there is no more, um, the most vulnerable person is a homeless woman. I kid you not. Um, 
Look, shout out to JDF. He did help her not become homeless. But you have to ask, like, look, you're doing an interview and someone introduces, hey, I was homeless, and you just gloss over it. Either you glossed over it or it was cut out. Because if if Francis would have said, hey, I was homeless and JDF hit me, got me off the street, the first thing I'll say, well, how did you find yourself homeless? Sh- straight face. How did you survive being homeless? How, how did you earn money being homeless? Were you couch surfing? Were you under a bridge? Were you living in a car? Were you asking for a spare change at the end of the freeway? I want to know. And did JDF know you were homeless? And did he know initially or he knew after? What age were you when you were homeless? I want to know all. I want to know. I want to. I would probably spend a half an hour digging into the homelessness. Like, half an hour easy i want you to talk about like how uh jacob was online trying to prove like yo i had a relationship with my dad uh sky had a relationship with our dad he used to send us stuff buy us stuff but we had to keep it secret from tammy because i don't feel like jump cut like i don't feel like that's her place to speak on that because for one um the relationship I have with my father is something only me and my father know. That's not for Tammy to know, and including Jacob and Hunter. The relationship my dad had with them, oh. that's only between them. You know what I mean? So it's just... Yeah, we just saw Hunter disowned his dad. So if you're using a relationship, you're using it real loosely. And I do think uh, JDF did have a relationship with his son, Jacob, but I don't know if we'll ever get that story. It's like, it's it doesn't it's just not fair that somebody that evil would come out and make, you know, like she knew what she was doing when she made that post. Mind reader. Like she wanted to hurt our feelings. But yeah, I ain't gonna front. Even though I said mind reader, yes, when you make certain posts online, yeah, you are trying to hurt people. It, it comes off that way. It's easy to see. Like she wanted us. But at the same time, is it a fact or not? That's what you want to look at. To read that. She wanted me to see that. She wanted me to, 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 probably fold like you know she right yeah all right now she said she wanted me to fold what does fold mean does anyone know what fold means do you think jump cut your dad was like in an abusive relationship with tammy as far as like because what type of leading question is that do you think your father was in an abusive relationship if this is in court they say objection leading a better way to establish abuse, guys, if you interview interviewing someone, hey, did you ever see um, Tammy strike your father? Right there. Did you ever see Tammy strike your father? Because right now, you're not introducing thought. I can't prove that she thought this. But if you say, did you ever see your father get struck? Okay. Bam. If she says yes, okay, had it happened more than once. This is how you establish abuse. Just throwing it out there. Like the stream, y'all. It seemed like uh, his his sons was kind of alluding to maybe like. If someone said it's not court. People don't want the truth, man. I keep telling you guys, y'all, your minds are already made up. That's all. It, it, if you just say, hey, look, man, my mind made up. Nothing I can hear going to tell me different. I don't care about how to interview people. I don't care about getting down the facts. I, I'm all for speculation. I'm all for mind reading. I'm all for body language experts. Foe, someone said, foe is give up. Give up on what? Some abuse, like Tammy would hit him and Tammy would do this. And he was kind of almost scared of Tammy. Do you think he was scared of Tammy? 100%. So you mean to tell me this guy who was 200 pounds, um, high degree black belt, is scared of a 100 pound woman, like physically, mentally, like you could be scared mentally. And I just hate the speculation. Did he ever tell you he was scared? That's a better question. That's a better question. Right. And I remember my dad telling my brother that he was afraid to divorce her because she was going to take everything. All right. I showed you the divorce documents. We know that if the divorce went through, she was getting, what, $1,500 a month in alimony and a $20,000 car and splitting, um, um, whatchamacallit, splitting joint accounts and anything with uh, both titles on the name. Go watch my old videos. I dropped all the goddamn facts. 
facts only, not feelings. I didn't feel like he was going to lose everything. I knew exactly what he was going to lose. And then also, how did you feel about getting served? Like your dad got served divorce papers at a comic con. I just found that out recently. Like, like uh, this week. Like I was like blown away by like, dang, I, that's, that's I cold. Was blown away. Like I, I don't follow up before all this. I didn't follow up on Tammy and my dad. I had no idea she served him divorce papers at a con. Yo, that con serving is wild. The divorce filing is wild. But hey, it happened. That's just, that's the reality of the situation. He really got served at con. She really asked for more in the divorce. Like, I had absolutely no idea. So when somebody said that, I was like, is this like Look, fake news or real news? We must got some new people in the chat. Who do you think put out that he was served at Comic-Con? Who do you think brought up his assistant who said how he got served at Comic-Con? Who do you think brought the court documents that proved he was served at Comic-Con? Like, dude, what do you want me? To, what do y'all want? Y'all killing me. Y'all killing me. I mean, it was like, did this exactly. happen? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I had to happened. fact check myself. I was I was looking like, can you can I was asking the fans like, can y'all confirm this? Did this really happen? And they're like, Wait, yeah, it really, it really video? happened. Is there a recording of it? Another jump. Nah, I haven't. Unless maybe I haven't seen it online and surfaced somewhere. But that's right. it's just a lot of people that was actually at that Comic Con was like, I swear on everything that happened. And I'm like, yeah, See, he- right there. That should show you what type of woman she is. For you to go and serve my dad divorce papers in front of all of his fans to to embarrass him and belittle him should show you what type of woman she is and what type of intentions that she truly had. It was to embarrass my dad. It was to make him feel... Things like that. If you loved my father and respected him, you would have done that in private. Exactly. Like, you would have done... There's no... there's. I mean, yeah, you could have done it in private, but some, I kind of know some information that, whatever. Yeah, you could have done it in private. No, if, and there's no, like, you would have done that in private. Do you kind of feel like people should just stay out your business a little bit? You know, how, I do, mean, you, how do you feel like that? I've never been that. Now, this is an excellent question. Do you feel like people should stay out of her business? But the problem is she keep putting out her business, okay? It's everywhere. She's probably going to respond to this video, which I hope she don't. Or I hope she say, look, yeah, he did send out like crap. Situation where like everybody has something to say. Everybody's kind of, some but, people positive, crazy, some negative. Though. I can't sit there and say, stay out my business when I'm posting my business. Facts. That's true. That's true. So, but it's like, I would just respect it if people would just listen and not put their two cents in when they don't know anything. Hey, if you don't mention my name no more, I won't mention your name no more. I promise. I promise. I promise. We ain't gonna. We ain't gonna even break our promise. They don't know facts or, like. Because I know facts. I got proof. I got hard proof. That's what I would want: is people to just simply hear me out and know that I'm not trying to, you know, like I'm not the bad guy here. Like I didn't do anything wrong. I just buried my father and then got lied to by this woman, and then now I'm posting about it. Now I'm this. I'm that. I'm that what? I don't get it. Like, I didn't do anything. Like, I'm still grieving the loss of my father, you know, while trying to make sure my brother doesn't do anything to himself. Like, this is this is destroying me. This is destroying my brother. Like, I'm more worried about I'm more worried about my brother's mental health right now than anything. Me too. Like, he just right. told me last night, he's like, Sky, like, this is making me, like, you know, I'm not going to repeat it, but oh, look, she's saying all this brother stuff, right? My brother, my brother, my brother. And how does she feel about her brother? Now, look, you can, you gonna, you gonna, y'all gonna write this off as um, sibling discourse, if you will. But let me make sure I got it. All right. So we're going to share this tab right here. This is another message from our guy, Hunter. And where are we at? Uh, share it. And we're going to make it big. Uh, hold on. All right. What does he say? I blocked out our number because we don't dox. I swear the at to, to, the, to the man above. You are the enemy. I'm done with you. You blocked. I don't give a F what you do at this point. I'm done. And he responds. 
And the only one who has always used messages against me was you. You posted unnecessary messages that had nothing to do, um, nothing to do with exposing Tammy. You posted messages of me calling Jenna fake, A F and S. That wasn't needed. You are a drunk. And when you get drunk, you do dumb stuff. And I'm assuming you told all of this to Henry. That's her. This is Sky talking. She's like, you told all this to Henry. You're damn right he did. You're damn right. He told me everything. And um, so she can turn around. So he can turn around and make me look bad. Yup, bet. You're done. Do you know uh, how to F and listen? You're a backstabbing AB. Like this is brotherly love, right? Um, da -da 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 Um, you're blocked just like Tammy and Jenna. All right, so this is sibling discourse. I'm sure, right, guys? That's sibling discourse, whatever you want to call it. That's how you know she feel behind closed doors about her brother. Maybe she love him. Maybe they made up, right? Because we want families to be together, together. But Sky, I'm telling you, stay away from Jacob. Telling you, tell, family will bring you down quicker than friends. I'm speaking from experience. A pert look, my aunt, her husband just died. She tried to get me arrested with some false allegations. It was at that point right there that she had transitioned in my life. And when he supported it, he transitioned in my life. So they're like, are you going to be at the funeral? I'm like, no. Hey, I'm not. You try to get me arrested. I'm not going to be at the funeral. And that broke and my family giving me crap about it. I'm like, do, do y'all not remember what she put me through? Like, come on. My heart. I was like, do you want me to stop? Like, I won't. You know, at, the, at this at this point, I'm just I'm trying to find sense in all this. And what I mean by all this is like why this happened to my dad. And it's, it's so fresh. You know, this is something so new and I'm not OK. And I won't be okay for a while, but I just don't think that beefing on the internet is going to help me heal anytime sooner. Please stop. Please stop. Right. So I just wanted to like say my part and speak tell piece. my, speak my piece because I had a really hard childhood and so did my brothers, you know. Look, man, I had a hard childhood. I was homeless with my mom, with my sister. She was on crack. It doesn't matter. I don't care about that crap because guess what? I started from the bottom. Now I'm here. Okay. I made it out the top. You don't let that shit, that stuff define you. Okay. You just keep pushing. You just keep trucking. You just get through it. Okay. You harp on that stuff and you just going to be in your head and you're going to be blaming all your failures on your, on your bad childhood. Just, just get over. I ain't going to say get over it, but if you can't get over it, get some help. But at the same time, it's like, look, you, we got to get past it. My mom tried the best that she can. It was, I had a really hard life, like a really hard hard life like things that people can even imagine a, a young girl to a teenager going through so you heart. know i just want people to understand that me and my brothers are hurt souls and deep down inside there's still that little kid in us that just wants to be hurt because we never were hurt and wow. we're just hurt and we're trying to find sense of all this and jenna and tammy is not the only ones that's that's hurting wow. you know and there's there's two sides to every story, and then there's the truth. Oh, I just which side is you telling? And that was another goddamn jump cut, man. Look, if we took a shot every time there was a drunk a, a jump cut, everyone would be gone. Uh, she probably have PSD. Yeah, she probably do, man. You got to get help. You got to get help. You got to get off that rut. You can't. You got to stop self medicating. If he calling you a drunk, you got to put the bottle down. Is look, hey, I can't put the bottle. Down. I'm sad. All right, well, go run. Go talk to somebody. It's look. For women, there are plenty of free resources for women to get help if they're going through anything. You got welfare, you got WIC, you got Section 8, you have women's shelters. Does anyone know where a men's shelter is for if they're homeless? It don't exist. It's under a bridge. It's, you know, it's in a parking lot. It's in a park. So when women are going through this, I'm like, you got it so, it's so many resources out there for you. You got family who care about you. You got friends who care about you, Sky. And I know they do because they reached out to me. Okay. So why don't you lean into the family, put the phone down, put the bottle down, focus on becoming the best person you could be. Don't let your father's uh, transitioning 
uh, be your downfall because I've seen it happen to people. I've seen it happen to women. I've seen it happen to a girlfriend of mine. She lost her mom and she 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 down bad. I seen her one day and she was trying to sell me something that I was not willing to buy. I'll just say that. So I just want Sky to get help, man. I know she hurt. I know she's sad. I know she's beefing with her family. But stop beefing. It ain't doing nothing for you. It's unproductive. And you think your dad wants you beefing with your family? That's your half sister. You think he wants you beefing with your family? I don't know my dad. And I bet you he don't want me beefing with my half sister and half brother out there who live in, live in their best life. I just want to thank you for coming on here and yeah. speaking your piece. I really do. Yeah, we, I, I appreciate you. Can we put some skies in the chat? You know, put some clouds in the chat for Sky because we really do wish her well. We wish everyone well. Can we put some clouds in the chat for Sky? Give it up for her. she told her story and we hope she better herself and get all the help she want and get get the resources she need and help her to get on with her life. She's yeah. me as a person, <laughs> as a small. Now, look, let's put a poll in the chat. That's right. Put the skies in there. Let's put a poll in the chat. Let's put do you think he went easy on her? That's the question. All right. Do you think he went easy on her? Do you think he went easy on her? That's right. Put them skies in the chat for Sky. Yes. No. The questions. That's all I want to know. Do you guys think he went easy on her? Ask the community. I learned how to do pose. Now all my ninja watchers, y'all can, y'all can whatchamacallit. All right, so there we go. All right. Anyway, there we go with the poll. We gonna let, let let's hear about our oh, YouTuber and say, hey, I want to do this. So now here, I'm gonna give y'all really some that's love. Real yeah, I got you. All Real right. Game. So before we get out of here, I just want to let. All right. So she about to plug her music. We pretty much done with the stream, but I'm a, I'm gonna stick around for a little bit and I'm gonna drop some game on y'all. Right. So. What I see on YouTube is everyone is clipping what she said. She she put it in her, whatchamacallit, they clipping it, right? She should start a YouTube channel. Guess what? She has a YouTube channel. She don't use it. She don't use it. She should use the YouTube channel. Guess what? There are people who know how to manage her, right? That she has access to. Let them manage you. Like, Sky, we all want the best of you. But I'm telling you, all this back and forth beefing with people on the internet, it ain't productive. Shit, I'm stressed out. I'm literally, look, I'm stressed out. And guess what? You know my daughter gonna wake up as soon as I go upstairs to go to sleep. She's gonna be like, Daddy, I need some water. And then she up for an hour and then there go my day. But anyway, does anyone want to come up and look, I'll, I'll give y'all like, I'll give y'all 10 minutes. If you want to come up and say your piece, Budgie Cat, um, you got to get a camera, bro. You got to get a camera. You got to get a camera. Let's see the results of the poll. So 77% uh, of y'all think he went easy on her. <laughs> and you know what? He probably did. You got to handle women with kid gloves, right? You got to handle them with kid gloves. You push too hard. Everyone ain't built like Francis. And everyone probably can't interview like me. So shout out to FC The Truth. Go check out his channel. I did put a link um, to his, his interview in the description. Shout out to Sky. You know, we support Sky. We support everybody. Okay. Oh, okay. You finally agree. Look at NF. Look at NF. Girl, girl. Ooh, you finally agree with me. We even support Jacob, but he can't come on the platform. We support Jacob. We support Hunter, even if he disowned his family. We support Jenna, even though she pop and fly at her older sister. Uh, we support Tammy, even if like y'all don't believe her and I still got my questions. We support everybody over here. So anyone want to come up, hit the link. Y'all want me to pin it? I want me to pin the link. Anyone? Brent, Brent, you, you still in here? Brent, you know, Brent always want to come up. Brent always want to come up. Brent, you want to come up for a couple, for a second, man? A factual interview. Yes, too easy. Typical entertainment TMZ. You not what I expected. Okay, whose interview was better? Not, not that we in competition. Uh, I don't even, sorry about that. Is that Brent? You goddamn right it's Brent, man. <laughs> Brent, yo, Brent. <laughs> All right, Brent, make it quick, man. You, even though you know we we at odds at sometimes, but you always fair, you always respectful. So, make your peace, man. What do you think about her interview? What do you think about me covering it? 
let the world know? I think um, people have different goals when they're watching your interview. You, um, some people want to find out whether Tammy caused JDF to self-transition or she quote-unquote did it. Mm -hmm. But I think most people are looking for um, to know whether Tammy is a good person or Jenna is someone that uh, sh should be idolized as, as the quote next Green Ranger. <laughs> I think people have different goals, you know? Okay, look, so Brent, I'll give you all 183 people that you hear, right? I know why JDF self-transition. And I am going to release it hopefully Thursday. Remember, I got that work seminar that morning. And I'll be there like all day. Um, hopefully, I get around to putting it together. But I definitely know. I have an idea. I can't say I know why definitively. I can't say it's 99.999% why. But it's another piece to the puzzle, right? It's another piece to the puzzle. And I'm hoping to release it on um, on Thursday. Thursday at 8 p.m. Guess what? My daughter not gonna be here. It'll just be me. As long as that seminar is is easy on me, and I'm trying to get a co person to come up and present it with me. Because here's the thing, I knew I had an indication about why he did it on January 2nd, but there was kind of like a little legal reason why I couldn't release it. Because if you release let's just say information that only a couple people know, then you get some eyeballs on you, maybe some eyeballs that you really don't want on you. So you, you have to sit on it until it's released. And now you can like, okay, here you go, guys. One plus one is two. What do you think? So, right. So I mean, but I think most people are watching your interview, like the, the, the video uh, today. And um, we just feel that Jenna and Tammy are, not so nice people. I'll I'll, I'll keep it. Uh, hey, that's, hey, Brent. Thank you. You 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 are the perfect person to come up to say, hey, I disagree, and I'm gonna be respectful. I don't think they're nice people. I don't believe Tammy's story. We just want to know the facts. I wish more people were like you when they come up. I wish more people were like you in the chat. I really do. So, Brent, peace. You can email me. You be emailing me. We <laughs> we, we we have a little uh, email back and forth. So email me. Thanks for watching. I'm about to bring up Eric. All right. Sure, sure. All right, Pete. All right, Eric, make it quick, man. What's going on? What'd you think? How you doing, Henry? Man, this uh the, this whole thing has been it's been a very emotional thing. I can I can totally see uh from Sky's point of view. Now, from when I say that, that I'm only talking about from the perspective of losing your father. Now, when it comes to that, I know what that's like, unfortunately. I lost my dad back in 2017 due to cancer. Now, but that being said, I can't say I feel her pain. I know what it's like to lose a father, but I do not feel her pain. I, what she's going through right now, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. Here's I the mean, thing, right? Anybody. No one, no one knows because let's just say she's at odds with her dad when he transitions. Now you have all this per se, like, woulda, coulda, shoulda. I wish I could have told him I loved him one more time. I wish I could have spoke to him one more time. I wish... Um, he would have called me. I wish we were closer. I wish he would have wished me happy birthday. I was looking forward to seeing his birthday. And, and that shit weighs on you. It weighs heavy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can have regrets if you want to. I mean, it's only natural. Of course, you're going to have regrets. But, I mean, you can't keep kicking yourself for things you didn't do. Like, for example, me, I've been a fan of JDF for a, lot, for a long time, even though I haven't paid attention to him for a long period of time. But when I found out that he self-transitioned, a lot of things are going through my head. Like, I wish I could have tried to meet him. I wish I could have paid attention to him a little bit more after Power Rangers. I mean, I wish, uh, yeah, I was going through that same thing. But like I said, I don't, I can't say I feel Sky's pain, but I know she's going through. I hope she's, I hope things get better for her in the long run because this whole thing is a mess, like I keep saying. It is. It's become a soap opera. And maybe she unblocked me and maybe she accepts some help for me in whatever capacity that may be. And I hope she does too. Because I, because I love what you're doing, man. I mean, you're. I know uh, what you're doing is coming from a place of professionalism and heart and everything. I try. Like, literally, this is, I treat this like it was my job at my last place. And I try to be as professional as possible because, look, you saw my boss. I showed y'all my boss. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Look, I'm telling you. That picture don't do him justice, but he was so like on me about being professional, not being biased, not picking a sign, focus on the facts, 
F your feelings, facts only. He's like, why are you telling me how you feel? Oh, I just thought, like, dude, I don't care. I just want the facts. What did you collect? What data did you collect? What did they say? What did you observe? I don't care about your feelings. Based on the yeah, data, feelings what shouldn't, did you make. Yeah, feelings shouldn't play a part in it at all. Like, um, by the also, I hope I'm doing okay as a moderator. I'm I'm trying. I don't want to seem like I'm policing too much or shutting people up or like that. It's just I keep seeing a bunch of people come onto this chat just to give you hate, but just oh. for the sole purpose to give you hate. That's not what this is about. I get so much. I mean, hate. if you don't like if you don't like it, you don't have to come here. You don't have to waste the guy's time. I mean, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to shut people up or anything like that. I think I'm trying to be fair. Tony, is this the Tony, the the JDF friend, Tony? Uh, Tony, can you hear me? Can you wave your hands like you hear me? Like go like you know. All right, Eric, let me let me get back to you. We got we got someone else. I, I hear you, man. All right. Uh oh, he 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 backed out. Tony, can you hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up? All right. Is this the Tony, the JDF best friend, Tony? Bro, why is my name being dragged through all this? What's going on? <laughs> Look, if you want to clear some things up, she made some allegations that you Hold told her about a will. I hear two voices. Hold on one second. You have to mute the YouTube stream. Hold on one second. I hear two voices. Am I good? Okay. So what's going on, bro? You tell me. She said you told her uh, that, uh, what did she say? That you told her about All a will. I know is this. Number one. I hear from Tammy that my name is being dragged through this. What is going on? I just told you. She said you, t Sky Hunter, said you told her she was in the will. Did she? T did you tell Sky? There was no will. What are you talking about? Okay, so you're telling me that Sky? Did you collect Sky's? Uh, I collected address? Sky's social. Okay. Her her phone number. Okay. Her her information. For whatever was going on with 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 Tammy and and, and the, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't even it's not even a will it's it's, it's a uh, what do you call it a, uh, 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 I don't even know what it's called like so you did uh, collect Sky's uh... no I collected for, for for but but it's not a will what what is it called like uh, you tell me man I'm I'll tell you right now. So this is Tony, guys. This is JDS. Are you his best friend? Of course. Okay. All right. We just and how Look, long can I hear that my, my name is being dragged through? But for what? You it's not me who bringing you up. No, yeah. I, again, Someone but I'm else. asking, why is my name being dragged? You have to talk to Sky, who's bringing your name up. No, I'm asking you why. <laughs> I can't read her mind why she brings you no, up. No, 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 no. I'm she made, why, made why allegations I'm that you collected her information for a will. She not made a will. allegation that she not for a will. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, uh, she uh, made another allegation like a... that she called Tammy the B word, and you told Tammy that she called her a B. Can you speak on that? Not gonna happen. Nope, never. You never. So Sky never confided in you that she thought Tammy was a a, a B a bush. Never. Okay. All right. So those were the only two allegations that I recall that were made uh, with your name in it. I talked to you a couple of days ago because I wanted, to, I wanted to set the record straight, correct? Sure. Yeah, you did. Okay. So I wanted to set the record straight because a lot of what's going on shouldn't even happen. Like what? For, for example, like... All the, all the, um, how do you put it? To you? Like all, all the, all the things about my friend, bro. What things? Everything. This is private information. Like, what, what do you have to like? What, what would you have to divulge all this information? People want to know what's going on in his life. I understand. Did but, was he, but, did he but, ever drink around you? Of course. Back in the day, of course. So. Prior to his demise, you never observed him drinking any alcohol? Bro, we used to party so much, it's not even funny. Back in the day. Yeah, so is that... But, but, he was sober for so long. That's the one thing. 
So you never saw him engage in alcohol? After 10 years, no. After 10 years, no. So none in 2022? The last 10 years, he was not sober. He, he was sober, I'm sorry. Okay, he was sober. Okay. Okay. Uh, was he reconciling with his wife? Did you know anything? Yes, about I'm the one that got him back together. Oh, how did, how did you do that? Again, I'm not going to divulge all this information because it's private. Okay. But I'm the one that got him back together. Yes, this is true. Wow. All right. Um, did you know, did you speak to him leading up to him going to the hotel? The what? The hotel where his last day. Yes. To him. What was his spirits like? Did he, what, what was the nature of your conversation? Did he seem he was, happy? He was fine. Okay. All right. And how would you describe? That's what pisses me off because a bunch of people are here talking about like they know all this stuff, but they don't know everything. Right. And again, I'm going to hold certain things in because I don't, because to me, this is private between me and my friend and his wife. But people are talking here like they know. They don't know. I agree with you. I agree. Um, what was your favorite JDF moment? Like, you've, how long have you known? No, we, we, used to, we used to have fun all the freaking time, man. How long have you known JDF? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my, my, my favorite moment and my last favorite moment with him. Okay. And watch. I'll bring her. What? Give me cheese. Please, no kids. I'll tell you right now, okay? You want to know about sweet moments with him? Yes. The last time that me and him hung out was June uh, 20-something, 30-something, with his niece. Okay, bro? And we went out. We had fun. We, 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 bro, we, we have, like, special moments together. But, but all these moments shouldn't be divulged, bro. This is private stuff. This is private stuff that should stay between us. I mean, so you... what upsets me is okay. that everybody wants to talk, act like they know, but they don't know. Yeah, you, you would know because you were his best friend. Bro, I'm, I'm telling you, like, we, 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 don't, we don't divulge information because this is, this is our own time. This is our own private time. You know what I mean? And that's why I called you. I said, bro, stop with this stuff because everyone wants to, everyone wants to talk like a fan. Everyone that you've had online wants to talk like a fan. But that's not the truth. The real truth stays between certain people that are close. Okay. And you being his friend, did you know he was battling with depression? Of course. And how would he, how would he typically handle that? Well, Bro, like again, that is private information. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you want to share about JDI? Yes. I want, I want, I want to say, please. I want to say, please, this, I understand that the fans want to know all about this. I get it. You know, I, I get the fans want to, want to know about what, what happened with him personally, emotionally, all these things, but certain things have to be kept private. For sure. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. And I think including, certain things including, including with you, you know, trying to be too investigative. Relax, bro. Am I getting too close or what, what's going on? What I'm saying is that you shouldn't be investigating too much. Sometimes certain things have to be kept private. Well, everything I shared is public information. There's nothing. No, course, but, but again, there's a difference between private information or, or public information and what you should be just overextending. What do you mean by overextending? Meaning that you should just not like you, you got to kick back, bro. This is, this, is a, this is a private man's life. Do you understand who's struggling with this? But by you uh, uh, trying to dig so deep, you, you, you're digging in the, in the wrong place because people are struggling with this, bro, including myself. And you're right. And no one is forcing anyone to watch this content. It's all by choice. 100%. And There's 100%. a difference between people who are forced to, but by you doing this, you're also, you know, Come on, bro. Kick back. Well, I got one more stream left on JDF, and you you might enjoy this. Or you might like it, or you may say it's too much. Listen, at the end of the day, listen, this guy was a fucking good man. I know he was. You know what I mean? I this know guy he was. was a good man. This guy loved his family, loved his wife. Yes, they were getting back together. I'm the one that freaking got him back together. 
okay? He loved his daughter. So it, it upsets us as, as a close family member. It upsets us because, like, you know, we don't, we don't want to see all these people. Like, people, random people that don't even know what's going on, bro. You said he loved his daughter. What about his other three kids? Bro, he, he, he loved all his kids. The only difference was it, it, it was it was a hard time with his other kids. Absolutely. Okay. You know, I have a, let me tell you, and I don't want to say too much, but I even had a close relationship with his daughter. She stayed at my parents' house the, the, the last, you know, I don't even know how long. So why would she, she make up? Why would she make up all these allegations of you stirring the pot? Because, because it's it, it, it's it's an, it's 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 a personal relationship that that they that they battle with, bro. Imagine being like you know like uh, sibling rivalry. Who who cares, bro? I I've seen the sibling. You rivalry. know what I mean? Yeah. Do I, I love Sky? Absolutely. That does she? Did she ever get disrespected at the funeral? Absolutely not. Okay. But 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 again. All this stuff that you guys are talking about is animosity that shouldn't be brought up. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like it, it upsets all of us, bro. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is a father. This is a, a husband. This is a, you know, like he, he loved all of us, bro. He loved a lot of people, man. You know what I mean? So, 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 so again, like, you know, stop with the hate everybody, man. I I've been telling people to stop the hate. I tell I you, know, you dig, bro. You like to dig. Hey, well, I got to get to the bottom of things. And when people no, no, you don't like to get to the bottom of things. You like to dig. I see. Here's That's the thing, difference. That, Tony. Here's the thing. There are things I know that I haven't released, and I don't plan bro, on. It. You don't know more than I know. I'm not saying I, I know more than you do. I imagine. So, so you don't do. tell me that. <laughs> but I'm just letting you know there are things that I know that I don't release to the public. Because I, under, I understand things should what, be private and a hundred percent. I'm with you. But what I'm saying to you is this, keep it personal with the family and leave it at that. Yeah. The family's fine. I support everyone. I tell people, Hey, come together. And if, if you love sky so much, maybe she'll reach out to you and clear up the allegations that you started. Oh, can, can can you you call? Call? Okay. Let, let me ask you. Would you like to, uh, with, with your, with your ex-wife, for example, would you like to, uh, uh, you know, how, how would you do that? With my ex-wife? Yeah. What, why don't you guys get along? Uh, cause she's about to take about 70% of my net worth. Okay, so my, my point to you is this certain times you don't get along with people, right? Uh, I would never get along with her. There's no, not like certain times. You don't get along with people certain times. Sure. But her it's done for life. You're taking it too personal. See what right. I mean? You ask the personal question. No, no, you but 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 you're not generalizing it. The same okay. way you. I can see. All right, I'll, I'll give an example. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sure. Certain people you fall out with, and then you get back into the fold. Okay. Correct. So, For example, I, I'll, I'll give an example. Do I love Tammy? Love of my life. Do I love Jenna? Love of my life. Do I love Sky? Love of my life. Okay. What about Jacob so, and Hunter? Jake, same thing. Jacob and Hunter. Bro, we raised them. My mom raised them. Wow. Okay. So when I say I get deep, I I know the whole the whole thing. So but but we don't say certain things because we keep it private. Well, I appreciate you coming on, Tony, and being so honest, man. And maybe sharing like your your perspective on this whole thing. Bro, I'm I'm telling you, like, you know, like uh, again. If, if fans want to know, I'll tell you, bro. Pe people have seen me. Pe pe people have seen me in, in, in public. I'm, I'm, I'm open to everything. But at the same time, there's certain things that we keep private. Because that's sure. how he would have wanted. He was a very private person. You know what I mean? So, so, so when I say he was private, that's why I, sometimes I'm upset. And maybe I'm, I'm maybe a little over the top. Oh, that's fine, man. You know, but it's because he would have wanted that way. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. said, there, there, there's there's different kinds of, kind, kind of relationship that we had with with everyone, including his ex wife. I'm, I'm telling you, I've, I've been to the bro. I, I was taking care of his karate school when his brother passed away. Yeah, and people people want to hear your story, Tony. People want to know what I you. I understand, know. but at, but at the same time, certain things have to be kept private.
Oh yeah. So you know what I mean. So 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 my my me being here is I'm here to say maybe certain people have to relax and understand that you know please keep keep a I, I, I don't even know how to say it. be 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 a little more cared like to the family. See, you know what? I get what you're saying, right? And I don't know if you watch my stream. I say, hey, be respectful of all parties. And people hate when I say that, and then they'll say something disparaging about one party, and they get timed out, or they get blocked. And then they're like, hey, why are you blocking me? I'm like, hey, I said, be respectful of all parties, because I'm not with this team, this, or team that. I hate that stuff. I want everyone to be together. Yeah, I really and, do. And, and of course, people want to know. Again, people want to know, and I get it. But at the same time, sometimes, it's, it's almost like, if, if we wanted to get too deep into your, your divorce, or whatever, like, whatever. Oh, I'm, oh that, Tony. I'm going deep into my divorce. Once no, it's no, finalized. But, but, what, what I'm, but what I'm saying to you is like, if you want to get deep into it, some certain things have to be just kept private, bro. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? I'm just not a private because, person. Because it's almost, it's almost like you're, you're telling your side of the story. Imagine if she got on there and it, oh. it, 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 gets, it gets too involved. We don't, we don't want to do that, bro. I don't care. And, if and, and again, I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful. I just want to say, oh. please, for my friend, Keep it private, bro, sometimes. Oh, I do. You and know what I mean? If we were to talk off stream, you would know that I've kept a lot of things private. And, and, and of course. Like, even our interaction. I never told anyone that you brought it up. The interaction that we had, not on stream. I never told a soul. And I'll just give you guys a little hit. Tony hit me up at like midnight, and I was literally in my bed sleep, and I called him. And we had a little conversation and I said, I'll get back to him. And my bad for not getting back to you, man. No, no, no. That's, that's fine. But it's, what was what was our conversation? I want to say, not, please. I'm not mentioning it. <laughs> but yeah. See, that's the thing, right? And maybe Tony could vouch and say, look, yeah, we had that conversation. I never put it out there. It was never mentioned in the video. It was never alluded oh, to. What was the conversation about? It was about JDF and uh, people, private. people just, you know, having things wrong. You know I'll just I mean? say that. Yeah. So anything you want uh, to tell to the fans, J.D., if we got 194,000 people watching. OK, so I'll tell you right now. Number one is this. This guy was a kind man. Very kind. He loved, he loved his family. He loved his wife. He loved his kids. And when I say kids, I mean plural. OK, I don't, I don't want to be like mis misconstrued about who, who I'm talking about. He loved all his kids. He loved his friends. And that's all that has to be said. You know what I mean? Like when, when I spoke on, a, on his um, on his funeral, like I said, sometimes I didn't I didn't say everything that I wanted to say. And I'll say it right now. Th 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 this guy loved everyone, man. So why can't you just guys just leave it at that? You know, like he 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 loved the the and, and wa wait till you watch like what's going on with him as far as the future. Legend of the White Dragon, all this stuff. I can't wait for it. But, me, but but to me, you got to remember, I loved him as 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 his friend. Yeah, you yeah. not as a Power Ranger, not as that, because to me, w when I talk to him, I talk to him as as uh, dude, bro. I, I can tell you stories about me and him just talking shit. Like we were just boys, bro. Just like I'm sure you have boys. Like you, you know, when you talk stuff, that was my boy. Yeah, I can't imagine the loss you feel, man. Because I you feel know what like I mean. So, so, so at the same time, time, all of you guys want to know all, all this deep stuff about him and this and that. Well, but I can tell you this: no more deep stuff will be released. We're we're done with the deep stuff unless something new comes out. I've basically released everything that's that's deep. So you don't have to worry about any more deep stuff. Um, Please, bro. I mean, just just leave it at that. And at the <laughs> no, end I've released day, everything. Fans, no, but Look. to all the fans, I, I got to let you know, though, he was a funny freaking guy. That's it. He was just a freaking awesome dude. All right. All right, Tony. Unless you got something else to say, I do got to go to sleep. I right, Look, we got to talk off camera, man. We'll talk. Here. All right. All right, y'all, we're going to leave it with Tony because no one could follow Tony coming up here. I ain't going to even play myself. Thank you, Tony. You have a great night, man. There you guys. Peace. How about that, y'all? <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Crazy. Was that a good interview? That was on the fly. Shout out to Dust Productions.
with the ten dollar donation henry you're doing a good job with this investigative series you have been very respectful thank you man put some respect on my damn name and i had tony his best friend up here um shout out to tony he didn't have to join he didn't have to say nothing but he did and he clarified some things if y'all didn't notice hey he dropped the bomb he loved sky jdf loved all his kids not just one and guess what he's the friend from the people magazine that got them to reconnect on their love so shout out to tony make sure you guys like the stream on the way out it's almost one o'clock and i know my daughter about to wake up soon as i take my butt upstairs and she's gonna ask for some water but i appreciate y'all and look at even nf like keep going henry keep going like dude come on you was hating on me like the whole stream like come on and we got to shout out to judith even though she a cowgirl fan but most importantly shout out to uh shout out to the whole family and shout out to tony right Standing up against those allegations say, hey, I don't care what she said. I still love her. That, that's a man right there because not too many people could do it. I know I couldn't do it. But he said, hey, I love her. I love the whole family. Everyone loves everyone. And I hope everyone come together. And to top this off, I'm going to leave y'all guys with the I'm telling you, this poem is so deep. So it's so good. Make sure you guys like the stream on the way out. And I appreciate y'all. And I appreciate Tony. I appreciate Sky, even though she threw some dirt on my name. I appreciate Jacob. I appreciate Hunter. I appreciate everybody. And the next stream is going to be Thursday at 8 p.m. And it is going to be maybe my last stream on JDF because I got nothing left. I didn't found everything. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Fall. It's been a while since I wrote. I'm sure at times everyone has moped. But this ain't me. I don't want to go back to where I was. All I could do is pray and hope, shake it off. But when I do, my mind says, nope. I mean, how do I deal with this? How do I even cope? I don't want to slide, but it is a slippery slope. I'm struggling. I'm grabbing. I slip because I missed the rope. My emotions are overflowing like a waterfall. The words I speak are positive. Well, at least I think they are. Overall, with stress occurring regularly, it's too fast. It's a hand side. Emotions are throwing like a curveball. But how can you even breathe when the air feels like ethanol? I mean, I want to fight back my mind. I want to brawl. But when I punch, I'm on the ground. I mean, I see the takedown. I begin to sprawl, but I miss. All I can do is crawl. Then I disappear. I'm gone. And it's just me staring at the ceiling wall. I mean, people can see my pain. You can see it in my eyeball. The sun would shine, but the darkness moves in. It becomes a rainfall. I'm all over the place, like a human pinball. So I delay and I begin to stall. Please, God, take my hand before I fall.